Are we good? Are we live? Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Creativation 2024 and it is day three, the last day. I am bummed. I'm exhausted, but it is so much fun. So we are going to be walking around the showroom floor. We're going to do a nice long live today because that's all we're doing today is a live walkthroughs of the showroom floor, hitting companies we have not yet seen before. And we are starting with Lisa Horton. So hello. Hello. <laughs> Finally. I know. Finally. It's so good. It's so good to meet you in person. <laughs> we had a little too much fun last night, but no. Mm. What stays at Creativation or what happens at Creativation stays, stays at, at Creativation. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So what new amazing products or just, you, I'm going to let you take it away because you are right. a pro at this. So, so take it away. Inks. Let's start with inks. Now, I'm known in the industry for 3D embossing folders, stencils, dyes, but my inks have absolutely taken the world by storm. They are amazing. So, two types of inks. We've got our blending inks, which are awesome, but I want to focus on our interference inks. Now, these little beauties are, well, they're very different because they have two colours on here. So, if you look at the ink pad or the, or the cover, you can see one, one side is, what's that, purple, and the other side's green. That means white card, you're going to get purple. Black card, you're going to get green. Should I show you? Absolutely. Let's, let's get it on the card, and, and it's much easier to see when we lay this down. So let's make a little bit of space here, and let's open this one. So when you open it, you'll always see that the ink pad will be the same color as it would be on white. Make sure your brush is relating to that side or you're going to get in a pickle with this so we take our ring now these are really so different go with the purple side so the left side of yes. the color don't pull up the green yes. side so okay. don't think oh you know let's get a brush out to do green because you can gotcha. open it it's always going to be purple or go with whatever colors on the ink pad itself. yeah okay yeah so open it's got a long open time but a kind of short open time and what i mean by this is when we pop this ink down on white card you'll see it's really juicy and it blends really well however it dries super fast watch oh yeah now that means to some people it doesn't blend okay because it's dried but yeah. take the ink again and we reignite that ink and you will never ever get a line look at that it's That's absolutely awesome. seamless so you go the way long it's going to dry again so we do the same thing so we pick up our ink yet again and you lose that line completely now that's great in itself, isn't it? Just as an ink pad. But what happens when we put it on black card? <laughs> this is just awesome. So black card. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Is it coming through yet? Yeah, absolutely. So now we have a shimmery green so cool. ink. Super yeah, cool. Do these activate with water? Do yes. They oh. Absolutely, yeah. of course they do. Let me take the lid off of this and literally I will flick onto here and you will see the reaction almost instantly. So now you've got a water reactive, shimmery, colour changing ink pad. What about on the black? It will do the black, but obviously you won't see as much, but absolutely you can see that now. Yeah. You can see that changing straight away. So if I now take my... Um, messy piece of cloth here but lift that off so oh, you get fun. most I think that's just like the most magical thing when you just like lift the color it's such a cool <laughs> it is but do you know what the awesome thing about these we've got reinkers as well Ooh. so your reinkers let me just grab a random reinker so your reinkers come like this and they we package these because they we had difficulties they imploded in the air in transit oh gosh so that was a bit of a mess because if you don't know she's coming from the uk yes you might pick see some people think i'm from australia oh my no. accent yeah. yeah but you did know the funny name for the pen that i'd never heard of the biro okay so the, sorry i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell no, no, no no so we're over at unique and creative and we're at looking for a pen and she goes you mean a biro and i'm like well, what's yeah. a biro and I'm trying. I'm explaining this to her last night. I'm like, I've never heard of Biro. It's like yeah. a big. It's the name brand. I like think yeah. called Kleenex or Xerox. Have you ha heard of this? Because that I've never heard. Yeah, knew oh, right away. I knew straight away. Yeah. Definitely. I taught you some English phrases as well. <laughs> yeah. When you're very excited, you're having kittens. Yeah. Is that a new one? Or you chuffed. You're chuffed. Yeah. You're well chuffed. You're right. Actually, if you're super happy, you're well chuffed. There you go. And I'm well chuffed to be with Erin. So, sorry, okay. side note. Anyway, Back side to the fun note. stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> so my reinkers. Okay. So, 
they have the ball bearing in them and when you get them you get them like this so basically you take the white off the white lid off and it's got you know you know when you get your toothpaste and it has that silver little right. cap on it you peel that back and then you put the inside the lid you've got the little dropper and then you pop that in and then you've got your reinker now the reinker is so cool because you can paint with it Oh. And that now means you've got your interference colour changing ink pads that you can paint with. So you can paint your new embossing folders, you can add them to your pastes. Um, they are awesome. And I can see this lady behind the camera looking as if to say, ooh. <laughs> They're loving this. Ooh. Oh. Ah. So, on, so wait, that's one colour. How many? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to get ink oh, all over you me. You have got ink all over yeah. your top area. It's but, it's, but it's purple and it matches your top. <laughs> to get it on my top. Oh, they actually did. We missed. Well, it's purple, so it doesn't matter. It's okay. It's so good. So it's good. Fine. So good. I'll what, blend it in. What was you going to say? How many colors? <laughs> How many? <laughs> we had morning. a late night. It's a morning. <laughs> we, put it this way. We're in New Orleans. It's Bourbon Street. <laughs> You've got to take advantage. How many colors are there? In the interference, there's 24. 24. Yeah, and in the blending inks, there is 36. I'll show you one more color Absolutely. because, oh Love my it. days, these are awesome. So this is called Tropical Paradise. Interference on my hands. You've got sparkly <laughs> fingers. So again, open the lid, it's gonna be? Pink. Pink. And what's it gonna be on black? Blue. Ish. Ish. Yeah. So <laughs> let's take our brush. Well, periwinkle? It's kind of, isn't it? Yeah. So we won't do the whole lot, we'll, we'll just give you an idea. So there's your pink. How do you know when it's time to re-ink these? Like what is your telltale sign with your ink pads that you're like, okay, When time When I more. pop my brush in and I do this and I'm getting very little, then I'll re-ink. But I, I've had these for a year. Oh wow. Never re-inked. That's nice. Never I mean, they seem very, very juicy. I They're very that. juicy. And okay, they... I'm gonna really have fun here for a minute. Look at that. Look how much I'm like going into that. I love that. Look at your finger now. I know. I'm a shit. Wait, wait, It's like... <gasps> do, not, <laughs> no, do not do that at home. <laughs> so, when it looks really pretty on the card in pink, keep it on the card. <laughs> and, then, pink. <laughs> and then on the... You would have done that last night, I though. Would have done it. <laughs> and then on the black card... I hope that's coming through. Oh, it is. Yes. So when you start choosing your colors, as oh. I hit more ink on the way, yeah, I was going to try and lift it up. Why not mirroring, right? So those are the same colors. So two ink pads, you got four colors already. So cool. So you get a two far. Yeah, that is so very cool. They're very, very cool. What about on craft paper or navy? Oh, they will change tone, so okay. the, the color that's underneath will come through a bit. So you'll okay. kind of get, you'll get a pink if it's on craft. But so it is it be, more like the... Yes, that's okay. exactly it. And so, the, okay. Yeah. So just think if you're doing it on different color papers. Yeah. It's not always black and it's not always white that you're going to want to do ink blending on. Which exactly. Is kind of cool. I love exactly. that. I love the options. So we're going to put that on there? Yeah. Oh, so wait. let me show you the blending ink because the blending inks are incredible. Now let me bring in one of my stencils. It's so glistening on my finger. <laughs> it's so sparkly. It's sparkle. <laughs> now let's change the card up. Move that out of the way. Yeah. What are you working on? Oh yeah, what's oh. this? So this is my ultimate two. Now, this is awesome. This is a patent, patented system with the pegs at the top here. So this means any stencil we do, we do layering stencils. All of our stencils have this peg system at the top. So you place your card down. Let me just do that randomly. Pop that over the top and you do your inking. Mm. And because we do layering stencils, you just whip that one off, next one on. So we've got the pack here. This one's only got three, but I would do that layer. I would take that off. I would find stencil number two. They're all marks. And you pop the next one down and, you know, then you can go back. So if you've missed a bit or you think, oh, it's lined up darker, just perfectly. Not dark enough, you can, you can do all sorts of things. And what is this material here? This is photopolymer. This is, I mean, this is amazing. So this is our tacky mat. It measures nine inches by nine and a half inches. Nice. Super cool. So obviously your card doesn't move. It's great for reverse stamping. You can do kind of your jelly press things. Right, 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 right. Um, really great tool and it fits inside my tool but of course if you haven't got my tool you can use it on your on your desk the best part is is that i'm guessing just a little bit of soap and water and it's clean and ready to go and re-sticky absolutely so you can get your mediums on here you yeah. can yeah it's not like oh yeah. i gotta replace the mat just clean it 
No, I love no, that. yeah, it's very easy to work with. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you our blending ink because, again, these are a little bit different. They're a chalk base finish. And when people look at these, they say, oh, they're a great size. But when you take the lid off, you can see we fill the entire pad. Wow. Yeah. They it's are. not like a huge lip that you're wasting. No, so we don't use as much plastic. We fill it with ink. Perfect. So, and these have re-inkers as well. So when we use these with our gorgeous blending brushes. And it's a dye-based ink. Dye-based ink. So you can do all the water reactive techniques with these as well. If I Perfect. show you, this is the kind of results you can you can get with them. So Beautiful. you can do all your smooshing and yeah. what you normally yeah. do. So All that fun grungy stuff. Yeah. So now, I mean, this has got a little bit of ink on it, so we might not get the exact yellow we need. But this is really pale. I'm starting really light. And I'll bring in more colour. But the blend with these is ridiculously good, okay? So just ink that for a second and let me show you. When I lift that up, beautiful. it's a beautiful blend. But we're going to pop that back over and we're going to bring another colour in. And I'll bring in the Dusky Rose. And what this will do is normally, if you put a colour on top of another colour, it might get a bit muddy Great. or you'll, you, you'll lose the yellow underneath. With these, you don't. Oh. So, I pop my ink in there. I'm going to pop it in my lid, and you can see how kind of chalky they are. Mm -hmm. So they're beautiful. And then we go over the top, and I'm going to start kind of around here. And you'll see that it kind of changes the colour underneath. So you get your seamless blend with your coloured ink pad. So now let's turn that a peachy orange. Beautiful. And if you bring in maybe a blue. I've got a blue here. Let's see if we've got a blue. Tourmaline blue is so quite a grey, but that's fine. I'll show you very quickly. So we'll take that one and we'll use our dark brush. I've actually probably got enough on there from before. And then you can still do your blending and you'll see. You can start doing your shading. And I know that's not perfect, but you get the idea. If you lift that up again, you'll see the differences. Wow. So now, beautiful. So they're super smooth, super pigmented. They are absolutely stunning. And then now you can bring in the next layer on top yeah. of your other stencil. Now, well. once you've done that, you've then got the embossing folder. So you pop it inside your embossing folder and you emboss it as well. They look amazing. Yes. They are. They're, they're, I mean, Does it matter which way you're putting your stencil on? It fits both directions. Um. Most of them, yes, it does, but I mean, this one is um, you can't see it on this one very well, but there is I probably got it the wrong way around. There is a number on each one, so okay. it will show you what side you need to have it. Okay, um, but if you wanted to flip it over, oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the pegs work either way, is my point. Yes, okay, yes, yeah. And the other thing about the system is what comes with it. Did I put it in here? No, I must have put it back in the tool. So, inside the tool, which is the game changer, let me see. Top or bottom. This opens, ah. and in here you've got a hidey two, hole. Yeah, you've got two hidey holes, and the bottom one. Let me open that one. Let me bring these pieces out for you. So what you also get, because on the back there's a scoreboard. Oops. Oops. There's a little scoreboard, so we don't waste space on the back. I love that. And we also have leave those. We have a double-ended tool, so you've got your wax pickup tool. Uh, and then this ends, you have your scoring tool, and then it comes with three extra nibs, and all you do is twist that off like that, pull that one out, change it over, and you've got your, your cute little tool. But the best bit... What do you think that's for? I have no idea, I'm waiting. <laughs> I know it fits on there, but that's about as far as I got. Got any other brand of stencil? Ah. Uh, you pop that on the side of your stencil and then you can convert that to work on the system. You might use a Silhouette Cameo, you might use a Brother Scan and Cut or whatever you may use as an electronic machine, you might make your own layering stencils. Right. They can then fit on the So how does system. that fit onto there? We're just gonna... So all you do is, if you've got, an, I mean, this isn't the best example of a stencil because we've got, we go edge to edge here. Right. So if you had a regular stencil, all you would do is pop this on the side of your Mylar and then, and then squish it down. It. 
Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Um, if it doesn't go, it goes too. Oh, so it's a die. Okay. Yes. This doesn't pop on there. We're actually no. die cutting a section out of the center. Absolutely. Aha, got it now. Absolutely. All right. So if it doesn't cut through first time, um, metal shim, absolutely fine. It will work beautifully. Now there's a lot of people who like to craft in bed or they want to sit on their lap. <laughs> so if you're maybe doing some colouring or something, so you can pop down to a piece of card, cut that out and then it will fit on the pegs and then you can tilt it and right, the right, right. And it's not going to go sliding on you and so you can colour facing up and it's not going to wiggle. Absolutely. That's smart. That's smart. So That's smart. super cool. And the other thing we've got, let me check. Yeah. Sprays. Have you seen, have you seen I have not. I'd love to see them. Okay. Kitty, it is dry as well. That's how I feel every time I do these. <laughs> okay, so these are our sparkle sprays. So they are a clear suspension. There are eight colours, but when you see the label on the front, it, that's kind of what you're going to get. Right. Now, when you pop these down, I hope this comes across. You might have to hold it out for me. Okay. Or, I can do that. I've made a mess. Oh, my goodness. Gonna hold, I don't want to press it too hard. I'll leave it, no, I'll no, leave it like that. I'll good. leave it like that. If you can hold that. All right. Ready? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, that. Yeah. So you can use that on black and white cards wow. very, very easily. Like, <laughs> you have got a thing about putting this on your face, haven't you? I don't know. It's, it's like it's okay. My point is, it's like it's so pretty that it you would is. want to wear you it. Want, you, you would know. want to bath in it. It's, you? it's my my biggest compliment is like it's so yummy. You want to eat it, but you don't. It's so beautiful yes. that you want to like wear it, but you don't. Yeah. That's my my go-to compliment because like, it's it's that cool, right? Like you want to just make yourself look as pretty as the paper. Yeah. Final thing I'll show you. Final yes. Thing. Obviously. Most people know about our folders, so you can have a look at our folders. We're going to tweak this round so we oh. don't keep your mic, because it's down here hitting the table. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if it was making a difference, but I just didn't want it to be like clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's fine, it's fine. Um, flash paste. So you open this, and this inside is like a clear paste Ooh. with the interference color in it. But when you place it on black cards, you get... That's really these pretty. These colors. So how many different colors of flash do you have? Um, four, yeah, eight. Yeah, eight. eight. Those are all of them, okay. Yeah. And this is a, what it's like on the white? Yeah, so we literally swatched it so on the white. So there's the gold. So which one was the pinky one? So the pinky one will be, one? I think it's that, that one. one. I think it's that one. Cool. Can you see that? I like it on the black. That's, Man, that's, that's really, amazing. that's so cool. So we also do what's called color explosion powders. Let me... Wait, there's more. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're fine, keep going. So we've got color explosion powders. So basically they are powders that you'll pop onto your... Oh, yeah, Like yeah. a pepper pot, spritz of water, and you'll get your color bursts. <laughs> now what you can do is take... Add them. Yes. Oh, yes. So you, so you could have a blue base with a yellow tinge to it, because that's a yellow one. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get that greeny, interference colour, because the blue and yellow mix oh, and match. Fine. And it works great. And, and because these are so pigmented, when you use them on white card, it kind of gives you not just the interference, you kind of get a solid colour, right. rather than it makes it look like it's a yellowy paste with that blue tinge. That's so cool. So cool. And that's just the beginning. <laughs> of the iceberg. So yes. can they follow you? For instance, if they want to purchase any of these products, what is yes. the best way for all yes. of our viewers, most of them living here in the States, yep. how can they get their products? Yep, so um, I have a website, Lisa Horton Crafts, so that's .co.uk. We work with um, scrapbook.com in the USA. We have our products on HSN. We have our products with Ecstasy Crafts. So there are plenty of retailers and outlets where you can grab our products wherever you are around the world. Perfect. So and if they want to get more ideas for to use all these amazing products, how right. can they get further ideas? Okay, so if you're on Facebook, if you go to my group, Crafting with Lisa Horton, there's 22,500 members in there and the inspiration is phenomenal. Um, YouTube, again, Lisa Horton Crafts, just Google me, and yeah, ton of inspiration there. And on a Friday night, UK time, 6.30pm, mm -hmm. I do a live, and we do product previews, we do inspiration, we do TV show, kind of sneak peeks. Oh, nice. Oh, and we... Okay. Oh, 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 oh the oh, other oh. thing. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm now also working with... Mm -hmm. 
the wonderful Spellbinders. Ooh. So we have a launch out with Spellbinders as well. So that was our party last night. <laughs> yes, that's what happened last night. Yes, yes. it was Spellbinders. So, yes, it was their fault that I was <laughs> out late. Out late. Yes. There's no photos of what happened no, last night. No photos Just, anywhere. They better not surface. Delete them. Delete them. I never took it. <laughs> I purposely did not take photos. <laughs> can't guarantee the rest of the group didn't but <laughs> yeah that's a little worrying that we don't even know do we <laughs> i think i saw the one somebody had one photo anyway one. if Let's, that surfaces yes yeah. you didn't see yes. a thing <laughs> yeah wipe that bit wipe that bit <laughs> that's fine we had fun we and did. we're allowed we to did. have fun that's Absolutely. the whole point of this well yeah. thank you so it's much it's been a pleasure Absolute it's pleasure. lovely to meet you finally yes and thank you for a very good night out yes. last night <laughs> as well <laughs> don't know a thing. <laughs> I'm going to grab my mic and we're going to keep on going. Excellent. Of course you need that back. Yeah, I do need that back. Thank you're you. Really <laughs> it is thank fabulous. you so much. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you again for fitting us and thank we're not they didn't skip her this year yes. <laughs> don't was the story year you said like you guys were away from the booth and i had walked by and she was watching the video she's like she just walked right by my booth so i made sure this did not happen <laughs> so thank you both thank you thank, thank you. you so much have a safe See trip home yes. Yes. and you too. thank take you care. take care bye. bye all right so some of these booths so are we are going by oh let's take a look at the mural we were looking at the mural the other day i'll take a look it is finished i believe it's because all the paint's been put away so look at the finished mural isn't that awesome okay so we have already done remember we skipped lisa because we were gonna have her today but we're gonna go this way because we're gonna go check out some of the booths in that direction so let's start walking let's go let's go not much is happening in demo alley today so but we have we talked to holbein yesterday but we're gonna keep on walking there's a few companies out that are doing some fun stuff. Um, I see there's a there's an aisle that we didn't. You know what? We're gonna jump over here because we haven't gone down this aisle to get to where we want to go. Oh, so we did. Oh, here we go. Some of these I've talked to. I'm like, oh yeah, I've been at that booth, but no, I haven't been at that booth because I did it without the camera. So here we have is Chroma, and it's coming so beautifully along. Hello, Hi, hello. We are live. Is it cool we come in? Absolutely. How are you? Oh my goodness. I'm doing great. This so. is looking beautiful. So yesterday, yeah. was it was no, two days ago, we came through yep. and we were just adding a tiny bit of color. She was. And I put it on my reel. And here's the best part. What are you a part of? I'm a part of Erin Reed Makes and I um, enjoy all of your wonderful swaps. So she did the Christmas card swap with us. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So are you ready to, to piece? The last piece of the information. Oh, oh, oh there's more. Ready? Okay. Yeah. <gasps> look at that. Okay, we got to get a little closer so we can see it. Can we go closer with? Does it make yeah. difference? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Can you see that? That is so pretty. So how much have you painted versus other people coming in and painting? I would say probably about ninety-eight percent of it <laughs> is you. Yeah. No, but it, then it's your artwork. I love it. What are you going to do with this now? Uh, my boss says I can put it in my cubicle. Yes. <laughs> well, you painted it. It is absolutely stunning. So tell us a little bit about your paints. We have sure. this reactivity with the light. I'm seeing sure. a whole bunch of beautiful paint down here. Sure. So, so do your spiel. Let me put my paintbrush on the top. <laughs> yes. So we're Chroma, and we're, our paints are made in Pennsylvania, all made in the United States. And um, what you're seeing mostly on here is our mural paints. So these are made with an exterior emulsion that allows them to be used outside. Fabulous. Um, they're great for indoor, outdoor murals. We have educators that love to use them for their stage sets. Um, we just love them because they're bright and fun and colorful. They are. Um, we just introduced um, another whole set of these, including these four neons that, um, this past year. Neon so that's is one of like the, reason the big hit new color trend that's happening everyone it's likes to do black light parties <laughs> and love to paint in the black light so yes. that they can have a lot of fun yes oh yes absolutely um and our our wall here is just yes, a, let's small, take a look at the wall a small representation of just the colors that chroma makes um we have all together with our branded products we have over 850 colors that we make um and all of these paints that you see up here today this is an interactive wall that's cool. So it, it tells you exactly. What's it tells on the back. you what what okay. line it came from. Favorite color. Favorite color. There we go. Go ahead. Whatever. So that is from Cobalt. our A2 our A2 line, which is our educational line, and it's a turquoise light. All right. I feel like it's like 
Russian, not Russian roulette, because that's a bad terminology. No, no, but no. It's no. like it's like the wall of chance. What am it I gonna is. get? It's a lot of fun, and there's some techniques up here as well. <laughs> what do I got? So that's from our, from our new Chroma Craft colors, and that's strawberry. Strawberry mm -hmm. This is so cool. So Where is this wall gonna go when you get back? Um, <laughs> it's probably gonna go out for a few more trade shows. I, I think. love it's, this. It's exciting and fun, and it's... gives people a chance to interact with our paints, even though we're not. They may not be painting. Right. So that is so fun. It's, it's such a it's a, just from a standpoint from a booth perspective this is amazing and it's such a eye popping like I don't know it's I love the geometry of all of this this is like my favorite booth right now my husband says we should do squares next year what do you think no I like the circles <laughs> <laughs> I like the circles well what do you think do you like the circles do you guys like the circles the circles are pretty awesome I love the interactivity of it and you could still come in like if you wanted to doodle further on it because it's the base mm -hmm. so what do you have on that is one of our artists that back at the office did this for us. So this is with our Josanya Premium Metallics, and that's her um, Mandala Dot painting. It's so pretty. I love it. So how many different lines? So we saw a craft line. We saw an A2 line. We're seeing the murals. Yep. So, so, so right here is the um, Metallics that I spoke to you about. This right? is our Josanya line. This is named for Josanya Jansen, if you're not familiar with her. She's a decorative artist, and these paints were made exclusively for her brand. Wonderful. They are a, an extremely opaque, beautiful metallic paints with pearlescence. Um, there are several um, colors missing here, but there's a few. We there's also, an iridescent medium. medium. She has lots of mediums based on what you, what type of project you're doing. Okay. Um, Yep, those were paint. Those I actually did those. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I, did. I love them. Um, it's a great class project. Very easy. Yes. Very fun. Um, that's just painted. That's our craft colors again, painted on glass. So beautiful. Um, just a quick, easy project. Fun for friends. Get some girls together. You right. empty the bottles first, and then you, and then you <laughs> <Yes>. paint them. <laughs> Absolutely. Up on the top here is our Chromacro line. Um, this is our this is our um, signature line of paints. This is used primarily for. Um, educational line mm. but these are our new pastels that were released this year love this so you have those let's see we have our glitter paints which are a tempera base and these are wonderful little project box so they're well. not going to be like is it sticky like a gluey no no it's going to dry and a it's lot of the it's glitter that's going to stay where you put it beautiful because a lot of the glitter paints like it gets globby yep. and it's more like it's just yep. glitter inside of a glue and you're nope. kind of Okay. Nope. We Very always cool. say this is the if you're going to do glitter Let's in a classroom, stay. this is the way that you need to do it. So okay, you're smarter. She's putting it yeah, off. The there's side. twelve colors in our line, so they all have a little bit of a paint background to them, so they still have that color. So, so where is that on here, oh, just so I can see it? Because so I got to see it in action. This is, this oh. is over white and over black with our glitter. So you do want to have a base tone yes. first. Okay. Yes, it's perfect for on top. Very cool. Oh, there right. you go. Yep. Got it? Got it. There we go. Love it. So well, very another, cool. Another oh, and then the ones, what's this chroma temp? That is our temperate paint, and that also glows under black light. Let me grab. I'm just picking up paint and going, what is this? Because <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, so these are, now, these are my paper crafts. She made cards. Yeah. I love it. So, I, so these are all gel prints done with um, the different paints and then put through my Spellbinders machine. <laughs> Very cool. Look at that. You can get one of these cards next time at Swap. <laughs> I'll see Halloween. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yes. we did a pop-up. Oh, I love it. So it's a lot of, just a way to show off the different colors. Yes. And a way to show off the different prints. Fabulous. I think a Christmas card would be fantastic. Like it would that. be, yes. <laughs> or New Year's. Yep. Like the, yeah, yep. like the big bright. And it folds flat to go in an envelope. Perfect. Perfect. It's not a two size though. No, no, no. We'll have to work, I'll have to. I'll have to work. I have to on work on I'll the shape of that. that. Yep. Right. Well, so, thank you so much for giving us a fun tour, here. and I'm loving I the arts. Oh, of course. Okay, I, I put my watching. bag down somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much again. I'm so glad you came. Yes, absolutely. Nola. She's, hey, she's Nola. Nola. Bye, Nola. Thank you so much again. Bye, Rhonda. All right. So we've got, so just a quickie thing, we're going to span over here, just so I don't feel like we're just swinging by and... Nick, yeah. Nick, Nick, Nick or Nick. Actually, I know a Nick, Nick, and a Nick is like the three, anyway, sorry, side note. So over here we have, what, maybe film real fast? Sure. What company is this? Arto. Arto. 
Yes, I love all your beautiful papers. Just take a span of all the gorgeous different papers. Most of them from Japan, correct? No. No, where are they from? Japan, India, and Nepal. Japan, okay, so Japan, India, and Nepal. So Ito's got some gorgeous, gorgeous paper lines. And it's a, lots of origami papers, beautiful, beautiful papers. I just love them. Beautiful watercolor pens, watercolor sets. Oh my goodness, take a look at this. What is it? Oh, look at. Are they glued together? Can I pick one up? Yeah, okay. Just look at these. Look at that. That is such the coolest little thing. Oh my goodness. So, what we're doing is, Philip has developed this technique. So, in order to get people to understand how they can get to here, right? Okay. You start, you go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. And there's Is it a couple the of... same fold over and over again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Piece. It's just it's how the same you build fold. it. It's all of them are made from that. So what paper is he using? Origami, origami paper. He's using the or so you could have fun or you can just use solid colors and then build the character. Well, so that's what this is. Yeah, so in the kit you have all the colors you need. Yes. And then from there. So like here's for instance design. in this fish, you would build four fish. Oh. That's a cool way to do it. That's so fun. So you learn the technique and the is idea okay. is... I'm like, I don't want to pick it up and it no, falls no, no, apart. No, it's fine. So would you glue it as you went along? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. That's such a cool thing. Yeah, that's such a fun little activity for the kids to do because they can fold and then it's a building thing. It's like you've put together the idea well, you of... Or, but build it, like it for Legos. your desk. Take no, it to yes. work. No, absolutely. I'm just... And then I'm once so you fun. know it, you know what it is, you can buy whatever colors yes. thrill you. Yes, you I know, love but it. But the idea is is to slowly get into figures. But that is a learning process. It was a learning... Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Best one, best one. Yeah. Harry Potter. <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. So I... he's on Instagram. Oh. Kuragami. Yes. Yeah, and cool. Thank you. Very cool. And so you should be seeing these kits in stores, hopefully right around the holidays. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I love the Christmas <laughs> gift idea on this one. That is fabulous. Very and, cool. And learn the technique, and we'll keep building kits, and pretty soon you can build yourself superheroes. Aito. I want one of these. These are awesome. <laughs> My son would go nuts because it's like the the feeling of the Legos, right? Yes. You're building well, something, exactly so you're you're kind exactly of exactly yeah. The so same you're but Legos. you're crafting and you're building everything from scratch, which I think is. Fabulous. And smart, it's smart, paper smart. and not plastic. And yeah. let's think about our environment. Absolutely. Are you guys loving this? Because this is like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we this have got so, so cool. many papers. Oh. Did you see the packs? Yes. I'm Those right. we're getting ready to release they're as well so cool. into stores. So they're color coordinated so that you could really do a journal, you know, do all of these other kinds of things. Have some, And get your hands on handmade paper. Yes. Not the printed stuff, not the stuff you got to worry about lignin and all that other kind of stuff. Right. Get yourself, get your hands. Good on quality. Beautiful. And you know, we work with a mill in Nepal. They're it's fair trade. They're SEDEX certified. They're all of that. All stuff. of it. Beautiful stuff. They take care of their employees, but they employ about seventy-five percent women. That's in wonderful. In the community. That's fun. I love it. I have to all talk. Right. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's keep going. Isn't that awesome? I'm prepared, sir. I'm going nuts over this little paper thingy. Hit my sweet spot right there. Okay, we're going to keep on going. I have a little meeting over there, but let's take this. This is Maker Pro Paint. So it's, look at this. Look at this. Smooth on. So it's like, it's a, do you want to explain a little bit about what you're all about? It's clay. So here we have our beautiful clay. Is that okay to film? Yes, please. Okay. Last year. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> Absolutely. So just as a spiel for anybody who's does not yeah. aware of your product, can you yeah. give us the rundown? Absolutely. This is our newest clay. This is our alien clay. And if you'll feel it, you'll feel it air dries at room temperature to be a very rigid, rigid clay, oh. right? It kind of seems almost, almost like, like it's fired. Almost right? like plastic. Almost like plastic. It has a high wax wax content. Excuse me. It's an oil-based clay. But if you introduce a little bit of heat to it, it softens. So she's gonna give us a piece that has heat on it, and you'll feel how kind of putty oh, like my that goodness. is. It just Mushes. In comparison, but the coolest cool. part about this clay, and my favorite part, is that you can actually liquefy it with enough heat and cast it. 
So that's how we made Froggy here is we liquefied our clay. Yep, we liquefied our clay and we poured him into a mold that's and so we cast cool. him. This guy was actually yeah, sculpted originally. Oh. So he was sculpted from our clay at first. So I'm just playing right yeah. now. I'm having too much fun. Sculpted, cast in plastic and backfilled with foam so that he nice and light. Um, we've had a lot of fun name ideas for him. So far, I think our front runner, we have Octavius, we have Karen. A lot of people have been having <laughs> the fun. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Chad. Yeah, but um, <laughs> sorry if there's a Chad watching. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we made our little our little UFO packaging, and we made it so, so that it has fun. a spout in it. So if you do want to heat it in this container, and it's got the little alien. Yeah, I little alien it. wedges. So cool. So that's our newest guy. So where can people find this if they're wanting to purchase? If this? they want to go to smoothon.com. Okay. That is our website. We sell a bunch of clays. We own our Shabbat brand, which is our clay brand, but we also do tons of mold making and casting. And my oh, oh, wait, part, there's more. I'm, just, I'm still how having does, fun just... How does this make you feel when you put it in your hand? Just like, okay. you're either going to throw it back uh, at me with disgust, or... I, I, I had a little bit of a weird... <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, ooh. Here, you put it down and you just kind of, you just... Bing. So that's our EcoFlex material, so... <laughs> I'm not going to comment, but I, I'm, I'm going to leave that part <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But my mind's no. not going clean right now for that we do, we do everything from clay to rubbers to rigid things to zombie kits if you like the walking dead oh my goodness they did it out of our stuff and our maker pro paints over there are pretty exciting yeah, show them, yeah. yeah. we have a fluorescent line of maker pro paints but right, we gotta get the camera closer oh, yeah hand. sure absolutely so this is our fluorescent line of maker pro paints we also have metallics and with um, the ability to flex without cracking. Oh, that's so nice. It bonds. So for cosplay or anything yes, that you want to do exactly. costume design. So the paints are very, very versatile. Very flexible. That's cool. Awesome. Well, thank you. Options. You're so welcome. <laughs> I'm just having fun playing with the, <laughs> with the clay. I was like just playing with the clay, but I can't do that. I got to have my hands open now. Oh, All right. Good. Well, thank you so much again. So <laughs> Bye. Oh, that is Steve. the cool. Steve. Steve! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Alright, so we've already talked with Sakura. So that was our jelly roll. If you missed Sakura, there is a dedicated video just on them. So we're going to keep on going. Over here we have Royal Talons. Okay, we're going to get to the, the amazing float in a minute. Here we have Royal Talons. Beautiful, beautiful paint. I absolutely love their paint. And there is a, uh, was it Royal Talons? Was that was the, what the launch was with? when we went to the Sizzix event. <laughs> Rhonda's like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's been a blur of stuff that's been going on. So, so let's, let's come over here, let's take a look. So here we have the Amsterdam paints, beautiful, beautiful paints. Absolutely love the Amsterdam paints. So. There's so many amazing paint companies and everybody has an opinion of which ones they think are their best or which ones, but you know what, try them all. See which one do you like the best because there is so many amazing paint companies and there's different price points for all of them so it'll fit any need that you possibly could want. And so this is just another example of another beautiful set of paint lines. So that is all from, like these are the Amsterdam paints. So hey, what's up? We're just walking around. Anyway, so Royal Talents, awesome. Now, just take a look at this thing. Look at this. This is fabulous. So we got a chance to go to one of our events. It was at Mardi Gras World, where they are building all the floats. And this is amazing. So this is SLS Arts. They have a few, they have, like, they brought this in. I want to know if, like, they borrowed this or did they make this? Maybe I can find this out because it is so cool. But they have a bunch of different brands. So we have Pebio, we have Alphacore, Milan. So did you guys build this or did yeah. you? Okay, so you borrowed this, you rented it. It is a showstopper. I love it. I have so many pictures in front of this. So you get on it? I can get on it. Yes. I can get yes. on it. On. Sweet. I'm going to drop my bag and I'm going to get on this sucker. <laughs> You're going to see me up there. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I get to go on There's the floor. There's pizza baby throw off so Oh my goodness. Use this for your bottom and then right. the handle and then Fabulous. pull onto the wood up there. Okay, okay. Hey everybody, I'm up here and guess what? I can throw beads. You want some? <laughs> there we go. All right, Rhonda, ready? 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 Ah! She caught them! She caught them! All right, who else wants the beads? I got beads. Yeah. 
Anybody else beads? Come on, you know you want some beads. You gotta get her. No, on. I'm not asking for shirts lifted, just smiles. You just did! <laughs> Cassie, want some beads? Come on! Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. There's so many bees. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This made my day to come up here. I'm on a float. <laughs> you want some? Here we go. <laughs> and everybody's, oh, but you caught them. You caught the beads. <laughs> I feel like I need some music up here. You know, like, and well, the saints. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh my goodness, this was the best idea. I love this. This is so cool. And just the artistry behind what the, the company that made them. So no, they did not make this. This was made by, was it Mardi Gras World? No, it wasn't Mardi Gras. Another company that makes them. Got it, got it. She dropped her beads. That's why the camera went funky. Rhonda dropped her beads. <laughs> I'm going to take a couple and put them on. Is that cool? Awesome. All right. I'm beaded. Oh, wait, wait. Somebody else. You want some beads? <laughs> I'm trying my darndest up here. <laughs> She's like, I don't need beads. It's my float. No, this is cool. One more. One more. What color? Green. Here we go. Ready? And you need a gold set? You need a gold set? All right. Ready? One more. Last one. Last one. Hey! <laughs> she caught everyone. All right. I'm going to pop on down. <laughs> I'm also going to clean up the mess because I dropped some on the floor. I got to go on a float. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is the best. Careful. Yep. All right, for those of you, the steps here yeah. are like crazy, crazy Imagine narrow. Oh my like goodness! Drinking all day. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not commenting about last night. Shh. There's a bathroom in there too, by the way. Seriously, there's a so bathroom that, in there? right there. There's a door on each side, and there's a, that's like hilarious. A yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. That was a blast. I got to go on a float. <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. Didn't think I was gonna do that today. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Nobody told me that that was the plan. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what happens to creativation is a ton of fun. All right, so over here, where are we at? We, oh, let's go check out Crafter's Companion. All right, so yesterday, I'm so sorry we did not go live yesterday while we were uh, at the end of the day. I got done with some of my meetings, and by the time that happened, it was 15 minutes before the show floor closed, and everybody was already kind of finished. But we did get a little bit of a tour of Crafter's Companion, so I committed the information to memory. And what I don't remember, Rhonda's gonna help me. <laughs> so let's start with the Violet Studio. So Violet Studio is a whole line of products. I mean, just take a look at this. But they are gonna be launching the Violet Studio. I think they believe said Joann's picked it up and a few others, and the price point, correct me if I'm wrong, was $2.99 for this section. So all the products, think like the dollar store bins, they're all $2.99, which I love this. Super, super cute little paper packs. Look at this. I'm going to put this in my pocket. Look at the adorable little paper packs. The only thing is it's not going to have the little plastic thing to hang up. So look for them in bins. Don't look for them to be hanging up on the wall, but in kind of like the bins. But just all kinds of fun stuff. So a really great price point for fun new products, which is so cute. All right, over here, some more of the Violet Studios great options and then we have all the different totally tiffany organizers and which one was the new one this one no nope, this one so here we have the six by step six six by dip six by sip a scrap i still can't say it just read it master organizer I will get my words, I believe me. All right, so look at that. So if you've ever played with the Scrapmaster organizers, they are a ton of fun. And now it is available in the six by six, which is so amazing, I love it. So this is so, so cool. And just all the other amazing product lines and all the storage solutions from Totally Tiffany. They are so cool. I mean, I'm gonna grab my bag so I don't lose it. Patience with me. Hey, oh, I'm gonna give you a big hug. I know. It's my roomie. I know. One of my roomies. Hey. <laughs> wave, wave, wave. 
Yes. yes. Oh, this is on my list. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> That's Jenny from Jenny's Crayons. She is awesome. She is one of my roommates. She is phenomenal. All right, over here, this is one of the new lines that they are coming out with, and it is a Spectrum Noir, all the art. So look at the kits. You can draw, and they've licensed Harry Potter. You can get Dobby. We've got Harry. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. All right, shout out. You're a real Harry Potter fan when you start knowing what these ones are. They're awesome. Hello! We're doing our video tour now because we're back. So, <laughs> so, and then they have, she showed me yesterday, so they also have these new color markers where it's all three colors. So you get three different colors on here. Look at that. So there's these new tri-colors. So in one box, you're going to get nine separate colors. So it's a great way to be a little bit more cost-effective for also your storage space. So if you're really wanting some good markers, that is phenomenal. All right, so now we're going to switch around over here. Yes, watercolor, not alcohol-based markers. So we have our Colorista. Here we have more manga-style art kit. So it comes with the color papers and also all the markers you need to color this. So everything is in there for what you need. And instruction book. Thank you very much. Yes, and so here you can see it. Some of the other new products over here. We're just going to kind of span over, but I'm going to show you my favorite one, which is over here. Look at this new Enchanted Ocean line. I am in love, and she was showing us this yesterday. Take a look at this. This is so cool. And then they have the vellum. Look at the vellum. Isn't that the best? You guys know I love everything to do with the ocean. I mean, that's like my favorite happy place, besides crafting, besides being here. But I mean, I love this, I love this, I love this. Now. And then this one is a new one that'll be launching here, I think, next month. Yeah, it, is, it looks so gorgeous. Nature's Garden is what that one is called. And then spanning over here, they also have the same line of the kits, but now we have the DC line. So they have license for, we've got Flash and Joker and Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman and everything you need is in there. So here are what they look like. And then you get the instruction booklets of what to do and then the markers to color them. So super, super amazing. I love it. And so it's just like you get a kid who really wants to get into doing some of this amazing artwork or an adult, I'm not just saying kids, adults too. And this is like the best thing ever. I know. So they were giving these away and Cassie's been over here and she kept eyeing them. So she said she absolutely wanted, we got ours yesterday. They gave us one as yesterday and they said, yes, we need to get rid of them. They are the totally Tiffany and this is totally Cassie. So we're going to go give it to her right now. Hopefully, if she's gotten one already, but I'm going to surprise her. She got one already. I was going to come and surprise you with it. <laughs> but you already snagged yours. I told her well, I told her exactly where they were, and she's been across the booth. This is a graphics booth, which we're going to chit-chat with graphics here in a minute. But I was like, yeah, they're right over there, right beside that. She already got it. But <laughs> She can have two. She deserves it. That is like Cassie's, I don't know, like your spirit color, signature color color and pattern it is it is yeah, yeah she's we brought them home yesterday oh, home back to the uh, uh the room it's last night it's, week, it's yeah. our home for the week and she was like <gasps> she's like this is where they are <laughs> Very exciting. Thank all right for yeah, absolutely always always so we are in graphics and can you give us a little bit we got a teaser yesterday about what graphics is all about can you explain a little bit more about gra what graphics is all about absolutely. Sorry, you girl. hey we let me have... get all kinds of classic films. Um, so they're blank. You can create them. Um, we have we have drafting films that people use pencil on pencil drawings. Oh, you're we have wet media, so different kinds of medium, uh, alcohol inks. So, so can you, we just like feel? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So this one is on that's, Dura Bright. That's our gray that's Dura the Bright. Bright. And then here, okay. this one is the... Drafting or Matt Duralar. Yeah, like what is this on? So it'll tell you right Okay, here. the Duralar multi-layer. So different layers yes. of Duralar so that way you can have it. looks like what, three or four layers there? Yes. Yeah, it's so cool. And then over here, see here we have Dura Bright plastic on the back here. So it's just, it's all different different Lots. kinds of mediums, surfaces, yes. that you can create art on and you can layer them. And so therefore your different uh, 
alcohol inks, markers, paints will react differently. I'm talking, I'm sorry, I'm taking over your talk. No, you're good. You're good. You're doing a great job. <laughs> so you're different, all your different, like your markers, your paints, your mediums will react differently on all these different surfaces and you can cut them out, you can die cut them, you can run them through your Cricut, your silhouette, your brother, so you can get cool shapes. Your scissors work with them beautifully. Scissors. Yeah. Exactly so just this, it just gives a whole other place besides just paper to play, which I think is so much fun. And I've had a chance to play with a lot of these products, and they really, really are cool. And Cassie does an amazing job playing yeah. with them and just showcasing. So she was doing her uh, bookmarks over here with all the different layers. If you missed the live yesterday, she shows a little bit about how this all works. But it's so much fun. So you're just doing the maskets, you're using the frisket. Yeah, so we use the frisket film to create some fun patterns. And then we um, put some alcohol ink over top of it and let it dry. And then you peel the frisket film off and then use some fun markers just to add some little doodles. And then on the top we have wet media duralar and we've stamped with uh, stays on ink and hero art stamps and just made a fun little overlay and then put it together as a big part. Awesome. I mean, just like it's so easy and like, yeah. just it's just playing. I love the idea of just getting out there and playing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. Move it. Moseying on to the next. Here we go. And so just to see all the different plastics, they have them all kind of here. Clear lay, fun cling and funky film, craft plastics, chipboards. Duralar. Yeah, Duralar, drafting yeah. film. It's just so many fun things here. I love them all. They're all so awesome. Oh, are we having problems? No, they're oh. quiet. Oh, they're quiet. <laughs> All right, so Rhonda was amazing while I was demoing, and for the past couple of years, I have missed being able to get the new product showcase. But do not fret, because she came over while I was filming or while I was demoing, and she got very comprehensive video of all of their, so I'm gonna be doing a recorded and edited video, so sort of recorded and edited video with a talking about all the new amazing products. So be staying tuned for that, that is coming in a couple of weeks. So watch for that video. And you're gonna have swag. And, oh yes, so just a reminder, so every now and then I get to pick up fun things like the beads. And if you become a teal or a glitter, sorry, a silver or a glitter member, there is gonna be a goodie slash a swag bag that is gonna get mailed to you if you're one of my top two tier members. Hello! <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna say hi to you in a minute. One minute, one minute. And so make sure that you become a member of my YouTube channel. A link to join is down in the information section. All right, we're going to do a quickie little hello. Hi. Oh, get out there. You good? Good in you? I'm good. I came over and I saw some of the new glitter pens. Oh, yes. They're so cool. We're going to swing back around. This is from Edding. Edding has got amazing, amazing markers. And I was hoping that you were going to be here. Oh, she brought some over. Look at that. <laughs> little minis. <laughs> little minis. We're going to see Edding and we're going to go play with a couple of the new glitter markers. They're so cool. They're so fun. So are you headed that way? Uh, Actually, I'm gonna drop off these little minis quickly <laughs> and then I'm back to our color. All right, well, we're gonna be swinging around and we'll make our way back up there. So, awesome. See you there. See you in a few. All right. She had to say hi. No, I love Olga. I've been playing, using Edding and working with Edding for the past, for the past, like, uh, since Orlando's NAMPTA. I was working in their booth. So I was one of their demonstrators. They didn't do demonstrations this year, but no, they're amazing. All right. What was the cool thing you saw here? I just love this one. This, the whole thing. So this is Primo. This is the air dry clay we got to play with. They had it in Demo Alley the past couple of days. Lots of amazing kid products here. These things are so cute. Look at this. It's a lot of sensory art. It's a lot of sensory art. And then the little markers inside. Look at that. I gotta get look. I've gotta get a few of these because these are so cute. It's like I said, swag bag. Because they have it out. They want you to take them. And I gotta get the fun, other fun one. Look at it. <laughs> but no, lots of amazing products. This is a company that has lots of different products in here. So this is an Australian owned and designed McCoy. We got Okra. We got Primo, a Rico design. Lots of fun products here. Hi! So just take a look at this cutie stickers line. Look at these beautiful stickers, little erasers, lots of fun stuff. It's just all the cute things that you would just wanna play with. and. The little like paper packs adorable so adorable so adorable all right let's go over here so activa is a beautiful company that has all different kinds of 
clays, okay. air dry clays, they have sand, they have molding capabilities. Let's go with just a quickie little hello and see stuff. I can't even, yeah, I, I get it. Not an yeah. The rigid wrap is so cool. It is enlaced with a kind of like a dry clay and then you get it wet and it when it dries, it holds the shape. I'll let you talk. You do your thing, you do your spiel. Well, I like your uh, <laughs> microphone. Oh, thanks. It's a little hairy creature there, it looks like. Needs a couple eyes at it or something. <laughs> that actually is kind of a fun, like, little googly eyes on it. So can you tell us a little bit about Activa? About Activa or, or um, well, Activa is a company that makes sculpture products, and we have a variety of different uh, products for all different types of um, sculptures that you might want to create. You can see back here, I have some reliefs and I have some three-dimensional sculptures. Some are made out of clay, some are made out of this ridge wrap we're demoing today. Uh, some are made out of uh, wire as a part of our armature and some are made out of recycled uh, pieces. Let me show you this one. Let's get closer. Oh, she's bringing it over. Yeah, it's okay. I'll bring it over. This is my pedestal. <laughs> A container that I made out of my carry out. This is my McDonald's cup <laughs> and this is my leftover container you know the one with the little plate with the lid. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah so you can recycle things. So I put the um, solute clay which is like a, a paper clay or a paper mache over and then I just did a nice paint job. This is the natural color of the solute clay and then I just added the black onto that. So the Ridge Wrap, she's got, they're making, I love this. We're not gonna do this because we don't have time, but she's taken just cardboard and some little wire and then you dip the Ridge Wrap in the water and then it goes around and then you can paint it and make cute, cute little characters. I'm loving the Easter Bunny because you know, we're getting close to Easter and the little kitty cats. Such a fun activity. This is a great idea. Great. This is such a cool idea. But you don't idea. have time to make it? I do not, unfortunately, no. This is our last day and we've not come oh, anywhere close to okay. videoing all enough. I wish I could sit and play at everything, but I need my, the. This whole conference would have to be 10 days for me that's to play right, in every booth. That's right. There's, a lot there's just not enough on. time. Not enough time. Well, thank you so oh, much. I appreciate since it. Since there's not enough time, you can go to Activa Products and all these ideas that I'm sharing with you, I made tutorials for you. So one, two, three, all the directions. It's easy as ABC. <laughs> ABC, one, two, three. Go get yep. the tutorials. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, I wonder if they have their kitty cat. I love these little pencil cases. These little pencil cases are the cutest, and they used to have. Do you guys still have that giant kitty cat you can go in? You didn't bring it this year? Oh, it was the cutest little kitty cat. But this just makes the heart go fast. So maybe next year. Yes. No, I mean, it's this cat, and you can actually climb inside of it and do like a little peekaboo with your head inside of it. It is the best thing. I actually got a video a couple years ago. These are little pencil cases. This is from IOTA Studios. They have lots of really cute products. They have lots of uh, notebooks. So here we have tons of different notebooks and then they have all different kinds of pens, two zoo pens, just lots and lots of amazing products in here. And yeah, it's just, it's super cute. Look at all the different products. They have watercolors, lots of, lots of really amazing things. But I'm in love with their little pencil carriers. That's my ultimate favorite, truly. Just cause they're so adorable. Yeah, and they're like rubber and they're soft. They're just the best. And then you can have them zip that way or, you know, versus the top. But yeah, every year I see them. And they're amazing because look what they have for everybody who would like it. Coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, but for those that love it, it's awesome. All right, let's keep on moving. Moving and grooving. What's our time? How are we doing? Uh, five after 11. Sweet. We still got three hours, people. We got some time to get around. All right, so over here we have, oh, what company? I, sometimes I can't tell right off the bat. Oh, General's Pencils. So here we have, is that correct? Yes. Hello. All right, they're busy talking, so we're going to leave them alone. Here we have Royal Lagnickel, just a huge variety of different products. You've got everything from your paint brushes, you've got your surfaces, you've got tons and tons of different paints. So here's a ton of different variety of Royal Lagnical products. Sky is the limit. I just, so many fun things. I'm not sure if they have any new products this year, but yeah, if you're needing a good quality and you're needing an affordable, so here's like the Kids' Choice Classroom brushes, lots of brushes. They've got paint palettes, just lots of really good art supplies. 
All right. Over here, this is our, so we've got Posca markers. I've heard it said so many different ways. How do you say it? Posca, Posca or Posca? Posca. Posca. All right. So Fredericks, brilliant color. They're, they're not really doing any demo. Oh, no, there's a little demo in the back. Look, we'll go play with the Posca marker for a minute. Tell me if I'm saying that right. Is it Posca? Hello. I also just love the way that these ones are, like how they're shaped. I'm going to put this down for a minute. They're just such a fun shape. So just look. So it's a paint. You just squeeze. It goes on beautifully. And Jennifer used this for her letter. So Jenny used her Posca markers. But they do also come as, you know, the cool. And different sizes. And they layer over to the different fine lines. So I'm sure you guys have seen the Posca markers before, but here they are. I love the, the shape of these guys. They're just fun because, and there's a lot, there's a lot of good ink in here. You can hear it. It really does wiggle around well. All right. Moving around. Oh, we're going to hit over there because there's spellbinders and there's some new stuff. So there's, I love this year. People, the, some of the booths have started. We're going to walk, we're going to walk and move. I'll walk back. I'm going to learn the fine art of walking backwards and talking. So they have, for the first time in a lot of years, started to do the release of the products here versus launching them a week or two or a month ahead of time. Let's keep going. We're good. We're good. So we're going to go check out Spellbinders and see what they got going over here. What's up? Oh, thought there was a question. All right, so we are in Spellbinders. Hello, hello. hello. We're coming to film, is that okay? Yeah. Fabulous. So can you give us a little spiel about what is going on? Anything new, anything fun? What are we? She's like, I got a, I got a candy in my mouth, so just <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Absolutely. Fabulous. So we have four different make and takes at the Spellbinders school. I'm gonna put this here so people can help hear us a little bit, hear you yeah. a little bit better. Perfect. Yeah, so we've got four different make and takes. This is our wax seal make and take. I love it. So let me um, heat this up for you. Oh, the candle's not even under there. Uh, so this is the card we're making right here. Can you see okay? You can see uh, we've got an embossed background and we're working with some of this gorgeous Vivant twine here. It's so pretty. And then we've got some of our classic Beeble Bloom die cuts and our wax seal. So it is a really simple to make easy card. Can I make one? Absolutely. I'm going to do a make and take. I never get to do the make and takes when I come here, but I get to play. <laughs> so we're going to start with five beads. Okay. So you get Good. to choose whatever kind of combination you want. You can Deal. go all one color, mix okay, and match. We're going to do three of those and two of these. Perfect. That would be my choice too. And how many colors of these do you have? Ballpark. Ooh. I'm seeing a whole bunch over there. Is that? I think we probably have somewhere around 40. We've got a really cool spread in the catalog. Let me show oh, cool. You. She's gonna bring me that. Bring it back. <laughs> I'm a little jealous of everybody having the mimosas. I missed it. Uh, they're straight back in the back corner, so you can head back and grab they, one. Do they still have some? I think so. So you can see we've got uh, all of these. This is our full wax bead mix. Look at that. Oh, that was melting. I was like, let's let's do some. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these. So beautiful. And in one package, about how many wax beads? You get a hundred beads. And so you typically use between four and five beads okay. per seal. So you're making anywhere from 20 to 25 seals with one package. That's we good. also just came out with these mixes. I like this. Um, which is really handy because uh, you'll get four different colors. Kind of the best part about wax seals is that you get to like play mad chemist, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and mix and match. I think it's a really kind of cool, a cool thing. That's my favorite. It I is. always mix the colors. I never leave the And colors all in you there. need, and so you buy the wax and obviously the kits. You sell the kits that have the yeah, candle. Yeah, yeah. So our starter kit comes with the kettle and the spoon, and it comes with a wax seal, of course. And then it also comes with this silicone mat and uh, 50 gold beads, which is okay. basically everything you need to get started going. It doesn't come with a, a tea light, but you know, everybody's got those. <laughs> sure you can go find tea light. <laughs> the spoon is really the important part because I don't know about you, but I've been a girl who's been heating a teaspoon up with a oh, <laughs> heat gun yeah. in the kitchen. The chair? I'm gonna utilize the chair because I never get a chair. Seal. So while this is heating up, I'm yep. gonna go ahead and have you get started on your card base. Cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap your card uh, with the twine three times around. And we're going to kind of put it on top of the card, I guess, 
I guess that's the card base. This is the card panel. Ooh, the terms. By the third day, you don't know any of the terms And what are we using anymore. to seal it back? Um, just tie it. Oh, we're just tying it. Okay. Yeah, because you won't be able to see it. Beautiful. I usually put, like, scotch tape in the back. <laughs> we do too, but we forgot our tape, so... <laughs> Didn't hear that. <laughs> no, it's the stupidest little things when you're putting your booths together and you're trying to think of all the stuff that you possibly could need for yeah. the show. And it's like that kind of the stuff. Tape. It's the tape that you forget. Or it's the charging cable, in my case, that Rhonda wonderfully remembered to bring one of. So I didn't get oopsed out of that one. That's always the way it goes. Oh. You know, I guess if the tape is the only thing, not that bad for us. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so while that is still going, you're gonna go ahead and assemble your flower. So we've got two stems, we've got a big stem, and then this little stem, they're in this even, I think. Um, and then you'll pick your flower, and then a little small flower for the inside. Awesome. Oh, there's, op there's some options. There's a lot well, I can of do. Okay, I'm gonna do pink. I didn't realize, ooh, but I could, can I do three? Yes, you can. Layer it up. All right. Nope. Nope. Yeah, baby. Perfect. So then go ahead and glue that together with your Barely Arts glue and add a gem on the top. Which we saw the first day as we were walking around with Barely Arts. They have some new bottles and new packaging. It's pretty good. I love their company. They are awesome. We love Barely Arts. You know, it works so well. It's got such a fine tip for the die cutting. It's such a great product. It's a perfect little dot of glue. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. So these and are our Be Bold Blooms flowers, which is our most popular dye set. So where, can I see that you have it out yeah, somewhere? Yeah, I do. Well, I play. This is Be Bold Blooms right here. Oh my goodness. So we're just tip of the iceberg of what is inside that dye yeah, set. Yeah, basically just the teeny tiniest little bits, but it's so pretty and so versatile. You can use it in so many different ways. I made a beautiful part of that from the store. Oh, you did? And you can tuck them in envelopes, tuck it. Like, it's just such a useful die set. I love it. You know, it's funny, I come to these craft shows, but I never actually expect to craft because <laughs> I'm busy doing demoing or I'm like, so I'm letting everybody else do it and I'm just, you know, everything else yeah. but crafting or I'm filming. So. Well, it's kind of nice at the trade show. Maybe you get a little time to do something creative. I am getting, well, it's, I'm actually getting to do this because I'm not the one that's holding the camera there this year. <laughs> so I get to have fun doing something else, which is amazing. All right, Perfect. are we there? Yeah, just about. So let me show you how we can test if our wax is oh, ready. Okay. Cool. So this is our tool in one. I'm just dipping it in and if it comes up, oop, not quite ready. Do you see how it's kind of pulling still? Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's not quite melted enough. So we're gonna give that another second. You can go ahead and add a gem to your flower. Love how she's like, well, if it's not there yet, do this. <laughs> Great teacher. We, we've got the plans going here. <laughs> Great teacher. So when you, you're melting your wax like this with the two colors, there's a few different techniques you can use. Okay. So you can swirl a little bit in here, um, which I tend to do because I'm impatient and it makes it melt a little faster. But if you leave it like this, sometimes when you pour, you get like a cool split technique. So there's different ways of doing it. So ballpark, how long would it take for it to melt to be ready? Uh, it takes about a minute. Okay. So it takes a little longer when you're first lighting your candle and first getting it warmed up. Okay. So but just because like everything, because even like a little spoon is cold. And yeah, so yeah. Better. But once you're kind of rolling, it melts really quickly. You can tell when it is done because you'll dip your your thing in and it'll come out pretty clean. So you okay. won't have that little like pull. Ah, okay. So if um, you see that little string pull up. Yes. And if it bubbles, if it starts to bubble, then it's too hot. Oh. And you want to take it off of the heat for just a few seconds before you pour it. And how many different stamp parts are there? Um, we have... I'm guessing these all. Ooh, probably close to 50 now. We've got all kinds of different ones. See? And they just... I like them. And the kit comes with one. Um, you can buy solid ones, which you can kind of see in the catalog. These are made with solid. And the solid is useful because you can add glitter, you can add flowers. Uh, we've been kind of playing around with adding little dry plus, plus flowers in there, so. What are some of the other, so here we have hello. What are some of the other sentiments around uh, these? We've got, I mean, all kinds of things. Happy birthday, love you. There's a full Christmas range. Oh, nice. There's a bunch of Valentine's ones. We've got flowers, butterflies. You can kind of uh, I'm gonna go over and take a look. Few. We're gonna wait because that's a new stuff. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, okay. We're not gonna divulge it yet. I got yeah. it. I think. I think we're just about ready. Okay. It's still pulling a little bit, but I do think it's warm enough. I think we're gonna be ready to go. Okay. So you're gonna want to go ahead and pour it okay. directly onto the silicone mat. I can't screw this up. <laughs> You'll get a nicer, cleaner press on the silicone mat. All right. So just ready? pull straight down good? in a puddle. Oh, that's so satisfying. Beautiful. Are you drink it every last drop or am I good? No, you're good. And then you can just set that aside. We won't put that back on. All right. Clean and it. then do I have to wait a few seconds? Nope. You're going to go ahead and set it on, but you're not going to squish. Just okay. let gravity do the work. Okay. So just, ah, it's warm. That's always the nerve wracking part. You're like, you're like centered and you see my hand wobbling. I was like, ah, don't screw it up. <laughs> There's kind of a cool technique that you can do if you don't like the shape of it. You can cut out the outside part and then press the middle part back into the stamp and put it into a second color. It's kind of a cool. So, how long technique. do you leave that there to cool? Again, just about a minute. It okay. doesn't take very long. Okay. Uh, it is hard to know because it's still gonna look shiny and wet because they're really glossy yeah. waxes, so they're always gonna look shiny. Um, but if you, I would say give it at least 30 seconds and then you can kind of wiggle the stamp a little bit and okay. see No, we're not 30 is, seconds yet. No, we're not quite question? ready yet. Is there um, a way to turn the uh, comments on and off? I'm not seeing any comments. Oh, we might have hit something. So I don't know if we, is that the, I'm not sure. Okay. All messages are visible. Yeah, they're just up. They're, sometimes that happens. Okay. Try to add a comment just to make sure that we didn't screw up something and hit something by accident. I would love yeah. to. Yeah. That's what I yeah. Let me know. All right. Okay, so I think you're probably about ready if you okay. want to try a little wiggle. Yep, I think. Now pull it up. There you go. See, it came up cleanly. Our wax okay. is a little bit flexible, so even when you pull it off, it's going to kind of bend a little Hello. bit. Hello! That. And then to really make that pop, we're going to take a, a deco paint marker. Oh, okay. And very gently, very lightly. All right, don't screw this up again. <laughs> kind of cover the words. So, any comments pop up? No, not yet. Oh, so maybe we screwed something up. It's okay. There's also a delay. Pretty. Love it. Thank you. And then okay. just pop this on. No, you're oh. going to use your cool seal sticker. Okay. So put it on the card first. Okay. And I'm going to do it underneath. I'm going to tuck it underneath. And then you'll lift a little tab. Leave the adhesive behind. Can you get it? No. Maybe. It's a little hard over that twine. Yeah. All my fingers don't want to work today. Let me find you a card base. So no comments? Well, either you guys are being real crickets right now. Like, don't believe that's the case or we've something has happened. There we go. That is so much fun. Thank you. You're welcome. And then here is the card base for you to put it on. Yeah. Thank you for still having this up today and doing yeah, this today. Yeah, no worries. Love it. I made a card, I made a card, I made a card. <laughs> Make sure you stop by the Better Press one over there. Okay. And um, we're demoing the new Better Press registration. Oh, fun. All right, so let's take a look at some of the new products they're going to have coming out a super, super soon. I had to do the take. All right, so just take a look. It is a 3D embossing folder, so it can also do 3D embossing and it cuts. And just look at the fun shapes. Look at the designs on them. Look. That is super, super cool. And these are new um, 3D wax seals. So you can see on these wax seals that the design isn't flat. It, like, kind of comes out. That is These amazing. are brand new. Those will be out in June. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. That is so cool. And then here, some more of the seals. Of the stamps, I should say. So I keep saying seals, but it's not right. And then just to see some of the colors again that we were playing with. Here's some more of the colors down below. We'll get there. I'm a little slow. Oh, let me grab my mic. It'd be a bad thing to leave behind. Yeah, you want to take Don't that leave my with you. I do. I do want to take that with me. 
So let's take a look at all the amazing Spellbinders. So we got to do one of the demos here. We'll just take a quick gander about what they have around the corner. They actually had a few different demos. Here's another one with their embossing folders. Here you can see what the demo was over here, the make and take. So they had a few different stations. I just popped into one of them because I love the, never actually played with the melting wax before. So I'm, I, I got to play with something I have not played with before. And then over here we have the better press. So here is another wonderful make and take. So here we have the Hello Sunshine and just some of the new colors. So last year they didn't have a ton of colors. Now we have lots and lots of new beautiful colors for the better press. So I would love to see if there's comments, but I think somehow, actually, let me hold that. Can you pop your phone up? Yep. I'm going to take the camera for a minute and I'm going to walk around. And Rhonda's just going to see, so if you can watch the live to see if there's any comments because you guys could all interact. And let's go to another booth. And I'm gonna do my old school fashioned way while I'm holding the camera and walking around. And here we have Pentel Arts. Beautiful, beautiful Pentel. I know you guys are on, I can see that everything is going. So it's just a matter of whether or not, I don't know why the comments aren't showing, but I would love to, sorry. I I'm chit chatting, but look at the Pentel. I love Pentel Arts. They are beautiful, beautiful products. They are so much fun. Just take a look at all their amazing pens. Is there anything new? Oh, he's talking. He's busy. He's busy over there. All right. We're going to come over here, and now we have... Sometimes I don't have a chance to get into a booth because they're busy and they're chit-chatting. So here we have Alton New. Hello. Hello, hello. Can I just snag right in here with this camera? What are we playing with over here? Sorry, my little mic so people can hear us. Yeah. Thank you. So each marker has a number, as you can probably tell from here. So these sheets coordinate with these. Oh. So these all are numbered. So you just need to grab the right one and then ah, you have to go. Thank you. I'm <laughs> just going to enjoy while you do for a minute. Is that cool? So yeah. how many different sets? Is it just the one set? Let me so we have released one set so far, and it comes with six uh, different pages. That is so cool. And how many colors? 24. 24. 24 colors, acrylic yes. markers. And they're acrylic markers. Yeah. It has so water based. Yeah. All right. And then what are these little things in front of you? Oh, these are watercolor tubes. So we have released a bunch of them. We have 20, I believe 20 colors available. And we have the, all the swatches there. I'll go um, over and take a look yeah. at that. That's so much fun. What a great way to color. And then when you're done, you can pop this on the front of a card Absolutely, and you yeah. get a beautiful card. So what's our status over here? Are you seeing anything? Okay, so we're just not seeing the comments, but they are coming through. Yes. All right, well, that's good to know. We're, I don't know why the comments, we're gonna, no, nope. that's a share. We're, we're trying to figure out, oh, hide all, nope, that's not what I wanted. None, I know you guys are staring off into nowhere, it's because we're trying to figure out, we've got it to live chat, all chat. There, there we, we go. go. We figured it out. Okay. I don't know what we did wrong, but we figured it out. So we're seeing the chat message. We must have hit a button somehow is why they popped. I didn't figure you guys were just not talking. So let's go check out those colors she was mentioning. Excuse us. Yes. Sorry. No worries. So, I mean, look, I know we're kind of wiggling our way through here. Look at all these beautiful artist watercolors. So here they're coming into tubes and here you can see the entirety of the I love my favorite color. Just look at them all. I love the color swatches they've done on these. How beautiful. And they did the on the white. Here we have a lemon on black. So, so gorgeous. So if you're really... Yeah. I mean, they still have their old wonderful paint pans or watercolors in the pans, but now you can also get your watercolors in a different variety. And just look at all of the wonderful... They have amazing, amazing products. They have artist gouache paint here. Look at the beautiful... Look at the gouache paint. So gorgeous. Here's some more of the paint by number, classical roses, larger sizes on these. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe just blown up. But here's the acrylic markers. This is what she was talking about with the little paint by numbers or the color by numbers to make all the beautiful. So that's such a cool idea. I love that idea. It went away again. It's all good. Now you know how to fix it. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like all of a sudden the the my phone is switching it off all of a sudden. So here we have uh, woodless coloring pencils. So take a look at these. Well, I don't want to pop them out. It's a woodless coloring pencil, but here you can see the swatch up above. 
We have fine liner pen sets. They have their alcohol-based markers here. Here's the full set of all the alcohol-based markers. Down, it just keeps doing it. Yeah, there's gonna be something. Something's yeah, happening. Yeah. All right. And then obviously, you know, they have all their wonderful stencils and their stamps. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, let's mosey on to the next one. Here we go. All right, so over in this corner, we have Canson, Lyra, Mamira, um, lots of Strathmore paper. You guys know Strathmore paper, all those fun things. I will go back and read all the comments when I get home. So 100%, I'm going to be making sure to all the lives, watching all the live comments. And if there's a question that was being, because for whatever reason, our comments are just being silly on our end. They're, so they're coming through for everybody to read. Just They keep clicking off onto my phone, and I don't know why. I will not ignore your questions. Um, I will answer them in the comments when I get home. It's just not enough time right now, unless Rhonda will be amazing enough to pop it back on and be able to hopefully catch a few of them. But if I if I missed any, I will be reading them and I will leave the answers in the comments below. If I can figure find the answers to them, because sometimes I know your answer asking questions in the booth we're in. So I'll do my best. Over here we have all different kinds of light tables. So here is uh, Artograph different drafting tables, beautiful different drafting tables, standing tables, different artist grade. I love the little teal carrying case on there, a little stroller, a little pull cart. That's fabulous. Here we have some more easels, little art. These are portable a little um, palettes and you can fold it all up, put it on a tripod and take it and go art anywhere you want, which I think is so cool. That's a really fun product there. Silicoil is another fun product that we saw at one of our events that was specifically for the creative professionals and the product, the companies to come in. And it's another way that you can clean your paint brushes, but instead of using plastic or silicone, um, it's using a metal coil in a container and it's bouncy, it's springy. Let me show you real fast. Okay. Can we do that a quick demo real fast on camera for how this works? Do you want me to use fresh water? That would be wonderful so they can see it in action. That would be great. So if you do a lot of painting, this could be another wonderful idea for you to how to clean your paintbrushes. You're showing it now. I've hit something else. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Are we on? Yeah, we're, oh, we've yeah. been live for whatever reason. My phone, the comments, it turned off. So we're like, what happened to all the comments? What happened for questions that people have when they come into a booth and want to ask questions? And it kept turning off. I think I'm going to keep this one in the blue. It was weird, but I think we figured out the, the label. Yes. <laughs> So we're just using regular water. This, or, uh, just for this demonstration, we're using regular water. This do you recommend something different to clean your brushes well, with? If you're painting in oil, you would want to uh, choose a solvent that works for you. Okay. Some uh, painters would rather have a more uh, natural material like a safflower oil. Okay. So that would be uh, an option. You could just put that in the jar. Or if uh, some people are, are feel more comfortable with a uh, like a mineral spirits or some kind of more uh, petroleum-based product. Both work great. Some One's a little more work than the other. But as you can see, when we stroke the brush on the coil, it, it goes very easily, smoothly back and forth. It's a very smooth coil. And because of the smoothness, it does not damage the bristles of the brush. And the bristles have a delicate flag at the end. And this delicate flag at the end is easily broken off by a harsh material being uh, used on it. So right, my father right. invented this because he wanted to, this is regular water, wanted to preserve his expensive brushes. And his friends wanted to preserve their brushes. So they mm -hmm. said, Leo, could you please figure this out and make a product? And he said, yeah, yeah. I bet I could. I got it. So 70 years ago, he invented this product. He came up with the idea of this aluminum coil which was smooth, found a way to design a machine to wind about five feet of aluminum into one small coil, and designed the label, the packaging, and a leak-resistant top with a foam liner. And our feedback has been, don't change it, it's perfect. Yeah, no, I mean, it works wonderfully, I love it. And I like that you can do it with water because it's a metal, but if you have a different kind of paint that you need to clean your brushes with, you can obviously use a different, you know, 
pouring medium to help clean, so like the mineral spirits or whatever. So that the is phenomenal. The aluminum is very durable. The glass is very durable, so you can, you can try anything, and it lasts a very, very long time. We have people that have been using them for decades. So where can they find to buy this? So everybody watching at home, how can they purchase this? Um, we are a manufacturer. We sell wholesale distributors across the U.S. sell our product to retailers. You can go to our website. It will have a, a where to buy button. Okay. Um, if you search it on uh, the web, there are many vendors available. Uh, like Amazon would have it? Yeah, Amazon okay. um, and, and, and vendors uh, through our distributors. Probably like Jerry's at Arama would have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Art Materials would probably have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a whole, a whole row of them there. Perfect. And we also are happy to report there are over a thousand five star reviews. People like our product. Awesome. People love our product. Yeah. We want more people to know well, it's about great. our product. I mean, you need a good product to keep your brushes, and you're not just leaving them in water and making them get disgusting because it all gets gross. So yeah. So sustainability is a big yeah. passion of mine, and so keeping your brushes for a longer period of time rather than getting rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, why do that? And you spend this a lot of money on the brushes. This is sustainable. This lasts a really long time. So Perfect. we're, we're into yeah. Well, thank well, you thank so you. much. Thank you. Yeah. All right. What? Oh, can I have a pen? Yes. I get a pen. <laughs> oh, I get three pens. <laughs> thank you so much. I don't want to take them Kind of figure at this point. Most people are like, I don't want this stuff anymore. All right. Yeah, so uh, here we have Crate with like just Chibitronics. It is so awesome. They have figured out a way, and it is so much fun to integrate the idea of using um, lights and you know the, how to wire everything and they have a whole bunch of different light kits and add them to cards. So tons and tons of fun little sticker packs and you just create the circuit and then you can turn them on. I don't know if this one's working anymore. It might be off. But lots of places of white. So here we have LED white stickers, uh, white blinking lights, uh, red lights, red fading lights. Lots of fun things. They have templates about how to build your circuits. So you have the lights going on there. So it's a really cool, they're all busy. So just, it's a really cool product. So I'm gonna give a quick shout out real fast to Archon mounts. They are awesome. This is the mount I use very similar to this one at home for all of my short form videos. All the videos you can see me doing my shorts, my reels. This is the mount that I use. So if you're wanting a good mount for filming any kind of short form video where it's attached to your table, it's great, this little arm moves up and down, but you can also attach a camera. I have an Archon mount, they're fabulous. So, they're busy chit-chatting. Oh, the blinged up one. You got the blingy one, hello. I was just telling him, this is what I use at home for all of my filming, and it's fabulous. Are you on live right now? We are live right now, say hello. Anything new or anything you want to mention real fast to those um, that are interested? Yes, so we are coming out, we are having them ready soon our MagSafe adapter. So if you're using an iPhone, um, go ahead and it just pops right on. Oh, wow. Like so. And you're good to go. It allows easy access to move your camera around, which is, is great. Is just iPhone? Um, so what's great about this is if you don't have an iPhone and you have an Android, we are coming out with also the sticker that comes together. Oh, so just okay. plate it on there um, and just pop it That's on. cool. Yeah. And how, that, that's on there really good. Yeah, I have yes. an Android, unfortunately, but that's that's fabulous. We did have a magnet mount. This is four times stronger than what we currently offer, so this is going to be the best alternative to what we have, and it's going to be so much better. That is cool. I love the bling. <laughs> and then we have the bling, of course. That one is new, uh, We but we don't sell it like this. We, it's just an art and craft yeah, type yeah, of yeah. activity we did in-house. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a game changer right there. Just pop and go. But you're going to have to take it out of the case, I'm guessing. Um, no. No. Um, so Roy has his iPhone over here. This one has a case. Pops right on as well. Yeah. That's awesome. One last thing I'd like to mention. Oh, yeah. If you have an Archon mount, we are now offering a lifetime warranty. Um, in the prior, it was two years, so now it's a lifetime. If you have any questions, anything that you need replacement on, you don't have to worry about it. We'll take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like... Yes! <laughs> right time, baby. Let's Retroactive to those that already have them? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Score. Score. <laughs> Not that I've had any problems. Mine has been going strong for two Beautiful. years now and it's been going wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. So awesome. thank you so much again. Thank you so much, Erin. Bye. Bye. All right, moving on. We got Picket Fence. Oh no, where'd she go? She's not here. She's not. Oh my goodness. She's not. I'm Erin.
Erin Reed. Hello. No, normally we get a catch demo, but uh, she had to take off. I, t I totally get that. But I want to show everybody. Do you mind if I show? No. All right. I'm going to be demoing over here at Picket Fences. You guys know I love my paper pouncers. These are one of my favorite tools when it comes to adding through stencils or adding color. I love my blending brushes as well, but the paper pouncers to me are a game changer about adding color. So it's just another method. And she's got little labels on here that say dye. That's awesome. But... But, 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 wait, wait, wait. I already have my, I pop my mic over here. Look at these. These are so cute. I love these, but the storage, I understand. Look how wonderful. Now, for those that don't know a paper pouncer, this is a paper pouncer. You can add your ink. So I go with my Catherine Cooler inks. You go pounce, 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 and then you apply it to your paper. And I'm loving the size. I do these on my videos all the time. I have talked about this product a ton. We had a video with this last year. Unfortunately, she's not here this year, but look how adorable. Where did it? Okay, I lost it. Oh, there it is. But I'm loving the size of these because you don't need to have this. If you want the big surface, that's great. But this to me is so cute. I love these. And the, you can tell that they have all the different colors. So where's the, there they are. Let's go take a look back there. Let me grab my bag so I don't keep forgetting my bag. Well, shoot, if I'd have known that she was leaving, I wouldn't have. I would have come by sooner, but just take a look. So here are the little minis, and they do come in so you can get white. So I guess if you have another set of colors, you can probably color code them to what you want. And then here we have the neutrals, and then we have all the colors. And it looks like she's also coming out with ocean blues, ocean greens for the bigger, larger size, and they're just fantastic. So this is a really fun product. Is there anything more new that's come out? I keep seeing these little rainbows everywhere. What's with the rainbows? <sighs> This is the cutest thing on the ground. It's a little desk trivet. Like you can put your hot glue gun on. Oh! Like Just a cutesy thing. That is adorable. That is so cute. I love this. I love this. I love Which this. Which store do you have? I don't. I'm a content. I'm a content creator. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I do video content. I create. Okay. And yeah. No, I've been coming and videoing her for years, and oh, okay. absolutely love it. So yeah. yeah. I, I'm just bummed I missed her. Yeah. Bummed I missed her. So is there anything new that we can show those for well, anybody who wants to purchase uh, some good stuff? Every month we come out with a new release. This uh, April will be ocean themed. And that's why uh, we have these color paper right. pounds. Because we have the green and we have the blue that we're coming out with. And then these are going to be our April stamps. Beautiful. I love all the ocean themes. I'm a sucker for it. This is just so people can hear us. So I have a mic on me oh, and that way they can okay. hear you. But so it's not like I'm trying to be like. Ah. <laughs> so those will be the uh, the ocean stamps we will have it Wonderful. that we're releasing in April, and in the mixed media we have uh, a new paper glaze we're coming out with called Paper Glaze Glass. Oh, which is a slick finish. All the dyes. Look at all the beautiful dyes. So many amazing new products. Ooh, look at these. Ooh, so shine, draw, shine, like shine. Like water. And these are the three colors we're introducing so, to go with our new paper glaze theme. glass. So this one is called glass. sea glass. This color is oh sea glass blue. Was that sea glass green? Yeah, green. And then this one's got to be sea glass coral. Oh, beautiful! I love that. That's so pretty. So those are new. We also have our um, paper glaze velvets and luxe and our regular paper glaze in little sampler packs now. Oh, nice. So you can try it. They're one ounce bottles instead of the large two ounce. Very and nice. We'll be coming out with a new oh. one every month. I love how they put the texture on the tops of the lids. It's really, really wonderful. This then is we can really see them. paper glaze Lux, which has the glitter in it. Well, this is our line called Twinkle, and it's got 80% more. You can't put any more glitter in it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> or it won't stick and bind anything that's anymore. It. And that's this here. That is beautiful. You know, How well does it die cut after you've put it on paper? You know, like you're making like a glitter paper and then you wanted to die cut that out. Will it die cut well? Or did you I die cut it first? I think they die cut it first. And then they, and put, then it they okay. put it on. Okay. Yes. Got it. a little spatula. Okay. Cool. Yes. Fabulous. Oh, and then here's some more colors over here. So they also have the fall the colors. Fall. So if you're really wanting to expand out your color line, because this was the original set of colors, one, two, and then now she's expanding with, because you know you really do need to have different colors for each ink, otherwise you're gonna end up getting a little bit of some muddiness, because you don't wash these. 
You don't wash them or they explode. So you just wipe them on a sheet of paper. But they're, they're a game changer. I absolutely love these little guys. So cool. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll tell her you came home. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> tell her I'm bummed I missed her. Okay. I kept, she was eating pizza the first time I saw her, and then it just been, it's, it's what it is. Hope she got home safe. So here we have a Lumalite, and we did do a video with a Lumalite. This is when we were talking one of the resins that they were doing, and they had all the different types of UV resin, but they have a ton of other different products. So, but the resin is their big one. The UV resin is just absolutely fabulous. But this is a Lumalite. And over here, we did the Japanese paper. This is where they were adding that special powder. And we did this yesterday, and they made the paper stronger, and it was all the beautiful Japanese paper. So we did do a video with them. Oh, what do we have here? We have Legion paper. Legion paper is beautiful, beautiful paper, wonderfully strong paper. They have lots of beautiful types of paper. So the art panels, yeah, Legion is amazing. They have wonderful, wonderful products. All right, so lots of artist panels, I should say, not papers. We have Union Arts, some more paint brushes, all different kinds of paint brushes. Uh, Cranfield. A really cool, they do this every year and it's so amazing. Take a look at their paint, how thick and strong their paint is. That they have, that's real paint that they have put their business card in. It just shows how heavy bodied and amazingly thick their paint is because it's just like so, it's, it's a color like no other, like it says right there. Wonderful, wonderful paint. So over here we have a lino printing. So here we have different, so it's foam that you can then trace out and create like your own stamps. So they have different kinds of nibs that you can get, and then you can create your own stamps, and then they have their paints that will go with that. So Lino Cutter, Baron Kits, a three-in-one kit. You can get the different types of soft cut. So here we have the Lino, here we have soft cut, and here we have master cut. So if you're wanting to decorate and make your own stamps or make your own impressions, this could be a really fun way to like create your own impressions and art. I mean, just take a look at that. So it's been cut out. You brayer it with your color, and then you stamp it on, and then you can keep reusing it and reusing it and reusing it. Adding, oh yeah, so go check out the replay from yesterday because we were walking around in Demo Alley, and that's when they were doing, hey, that's when they were, sorry, always meet people as we're walking by. God, come say hi, give me a hug. Because I don't know, am I going to see you guys again later? Yeah, it only yes. tomorrow. Oh, that's right. that's right. Oh, we're going to Drag Mart tonight. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I gotta say, all the good stuff. All right, shout out who you are in case they don't know you. Give yourself a little shout out. Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets and Swift Creek Customs. And what do you do? I teach people crafts, blogs, cutting machines, all kinds of things. Yep. And I'm Sarah, and I'm from Sarah's Crate Studio, and I do the same thing she does. <laughs> they are amazing, absolutely amazing. Go check, check out, out their site. It's incredible. Yes, uh, yeah, Toss. Yes. I love Toss. So let's go talk Bye. to Toss real fast. See you Bye. ladies later. Bye. That is awesome. I love that. That is fun. So since you're, I didn't want to interrupt you because you were busy talking. Um, I love this concept. Is there anything else you can tell us about this? And yeah, just give, a, give me your five minute spiel. Okay. Well, um, this is just to make so people can hear you over everybody sure. talking. Sure. Yeah. Uh, block printing, lino printing has been around for a couple of hundred years. Picasso, Matisse. Um, uh, were masters of the uh, the art form, uh, but we're bringing it to a more of a modern audience uh, with easier to use tool, uh, tools, yeah. carving blocks, and uh, certainly retail focused um, Can I try? products. Please do. Yeah. I'm going to put this here for a minute. Don't need so much pressure. Okay. So there you don't go. have to go diving on too deep. Oh, it's very like little butter. pressure needed. It's like butter. You, can, you can have traditional lino if you prefer. Gives that different sort of all almost okay. wooden grain feel, uh, but cool. with these um, sort of safer tools, less pressure. This is the material used uh, for block printing onto fabrics. See, yeah, in my mind, it's going to you want to create your own because I have a lot of paper crafters, so stamping, so creating your own stamps. Yes, that would be fantastic. That's right. You can cut this out with either the tools or with just some scissors, and we do actually stamp sets as well. And we have these small discs as well with the adhesives that you can put onto. Oh, onto so like they already a, come a as baron. these little ones right here. Absolutely, you can have a handheld baron and you can just stick it onto that the baron That is so there. fun. The tools are inside. Oh, like you said, we could cut this up if we wanted to. You can cut it up easy. Yeah, and point. you can just do regular uh, repeats. So if you just have a stamp that you want to do on a page, then you can. Right, right, right. Well, fabulous. Thank you so much. That's cool. That's fun. Pleasure.
Are we doing okay with the comments? You were like touching something on the screen. I'm all paranoid now because I see you're touching the screen. I'm like, ah, our comments like disappeared on us and we couldn't, and, like people are asking questions and we're like, where'd the comments go? I think we got it handled. Thank you. All right, so over here we have Toss products. I love what you guys do, but this is new. Yeah. This is new. The, these, these are so new. These are three D printed just to show the shape and the size. Ah, it's because I know just, you don't normally do on plastic because no, it's a tossable no. thing. I got it. I got right. it. Okay. But yeah, we did not have any uh, completely developed. <laughs> yes, prototypes in paper pulp. <laughs> and so uh, yeah, we just found that uh, people were wanting uh, a, a little bigger. bit larger palette with a mixing area. And so these are great for schools. And so for those that parties. don't know what toss means, can you explain for that have never heard of it before? Oh, this is this is a repurposed um, cardboard that they make these pallets out of, and um, they come in big packs. So the whole point yeah. is instead of I'll, I'll let you say it. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> and and the whole point is that we're not washing paint down the drain. That's the bottom line. Yeah. We're saving our environment through not washing paint down the drain, and the cleanup is absolutely incredible. Time saver. Yeah. That, I mean, money is time. Yeah. And, uh, and, and plus, I think it elevates the paint party experience uh, to a higher level than just a paper plate. Yeah. You know, when you pay 40 bucks to go paint somewhere, you think that you could mix something better than Not pulling a out plate. a paint any paper plate. Yeah, no, and, I get it, I get but, it. But kids and and people that are like first-time painters or second-time painters, you know, they're very much beginners. They love to hold the palette. Right. Whenever we do paint parties, we always have a, a, a Kodak moment where everybody <laughs> grab grab your palette. Now, this is how you hold it and get your paintbrush <laughs> and ready to dip and give a big smile. Oh, you know I love how it. That is. But I love the larger size and also the different shape. Was there a question? Are these recyclable? So once they, they have the paint on them, are they recyclable? Well, they are not recyclable because of the paint is on it. It's kind of like a pizza box with you got pizza grease on it. You yeah. Have to, it has to go to the landfill. Yeah. But what's nice is that these completely decompose to where they're nothing. They are just paper pulp, and they will dispose right into the earth naturally. And the only thing that's left, you just got to figure out how to do something with that paint. Right. Right. And yeah, well, hopefully you put most of the paint on the project to begin yes. with, so yes. there's not much paint left on there except for a tiny bit of residue. Absolutely. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. All right, I love the new shapes. Thank you. They're, they're yeah, great. That's why we brought them. We thought. Yeah. No, you know, we, we want to see. Need to get some feedback. Absolutely. We need to see Absolutely. Think. No, that's great. Just yeah. a little bit more, a little bit bigger. Yep. Yeah, I love the. A little the... bit more engineering on this one here. Yeah. Uh, because of this, because when you're using paper pulp. The structure you need yeah, to have you need, support structures right. underneath it, so it just doesn't go. Yeah, it's funny how we both went at the same time. Apparently, the is real. Yeah, it's a real sound. <laughs> all right, over here we have blocks, more amazing paints, and they have all different kinds of books. And then Olo. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze by because I want to I want to get to Olo because Olo's got a brand new launch. We're gonna come over here. I'm gonna snag it. I'm gonna snag it. Is it 32? 32. 32 new colors. There are 32 new Olo markers going to be hitting the market. And a little birdie told me there's going to be another launch. And I think the total number by next year, end of this year, will be somewhere around 256. 256. Total number is going to be 256. Well, let me show you the new colors because it is pretty awesome. This they, they just released this here. So let me show you. There's 160 with the new 36. Oh, yeah. So here's half of them. Look at that. This is half of the colors. Or is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's all 32. <laughs> there was two sheets, but yeah, look at all of them. Can you guess which one's my favorite? Anybody? Anybody, get, anybody guessing? <laughs> totally hot pink. I'll leave it at that. I'm going to let you guys guess the answer in there, and I'll come back in a little bit. But... Just take a wild guess which one's my favorite color. It starts with a B. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. And they have a new marker over here. 
have these what, and they're done and they're they come to us by air we're just waiting so for the color the new real brush finished. i always and want to say karen and i know that's not right I'm sorry. Third but just take a look at this the new nib on this i got to demo with i got to play with this this morning so that's why i have kind of an inside here and just look how beautiful the markers this brush is. I mean, we're just waiting to get so I want to go light one thing, or real um, heavy or nice and light or real heavy. Done a lot Look how beautiful. And just that tip on there to get and then close color match between the cap and the color. Pigment it's ink is beautiful. It's watercolor based, water based, so it's not an alcohol based um, marker. And so, and so that is brand new being released as well. Very, very cool. All right. Let's keep on going. Here we have these. Oh, these little guys. We saw these at our designer uh, meeting that we had. We had a little Mardi Gras social. These are a little all made with paper. They've been glued together. And the little kits to make all these little fun animals and creatures and stuff. They are so cool. And then we also have the wax seals. Sorry, is it okay to film? Yes, Fabulous. Awesome. I love the wax seals. Look at all the beautiful wax colors. That is just like the prettiest little display. I love... <laughs> it's okay. I appreciate it. I don't want to go in there. She's taking the video, otherwise I'd be in the way. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. No, she's just looking at the products. I love it, and I love all there. They have wonderful sharpeners, erasers. They have wonderful, wonderful products. Great, great sharpeners. I, I was telling him, I have this one at home, the little gummy bear. <laughs> it's in yellow. That's the one that I was... It's a little gummy bear. It's so adorable. <laughs> so it's an eraser, and then it's got a sharpener. I think I have a red one and a yellow one. Oh, that's They're my awesome. favorite. I love them. I love them. I love them. And the wax is for. Oh, sorry. The wax. Is for... Can you explain what this is all about? What do we use this for? Sorry. So, uh, originally the wax was very brittle, and we were putting them on the back of the envelopes, right? Mm -hmm. And then to open the envelope, we were breaking the wax. We were not really gluing the the envelope very much. That was kind of a way to make to secure the the, the mail. Now, if we use the breakable wax today, it may not make the uh, the mail, right? Mm, because right. of the, 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 the machines that they use for sorting. Right. Um, so, we uh, contacted this company. There's a French company that makes this super oh, long wow. wax. Yeah, it's super flexible. You can bang it. Uh, That's won't why you crack. said don't touch it, because I wasn't fully yeah. experiencing. Now I get it. Exactly. I get it. I get it. <laughs> it's been done like a week ago. Look, it's bendy. It still That's remains so very cool. super, super flexible. And just like you melt it. So what I do, do I use, I put oil in this lamp, for example, and then over the flame, I can't use flame, it's forbidden oh. here, sorry guys. Uh, this is what I do, I twirl it. Okay. Right? Twirl, 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 twirl. Take your time, it's better to take more time than trying to burn it, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you have a big bulge at the end, you reach, it keep turning and reach the paper and do this. Oh, okay. So the dripping is not enough to always touch the paper. Right, it's very important to enlarge it a little bit. Take your seal, obviously. So it is a seal. I was calling it the right thing. It is a seal. Okay, I was yeah. like, I wasn't wrong when I said seal. Definitely, earlier. like this little letter A, you have to align it and then put it. You have a few seconds to put it on the wax. However, you have to leave it 20 seconds. All right. Okay. Very what if you important. leave it longer? Is that okay? If you leave it longer. Oh, no problem. Okay. Doesn't don't just matter. go boom. But Not leave just it. don't do this, otherwise. Right. The, the non-dry uh, will stick, right? right. I mean, it was, it's, this is going to be terrible. So you dip it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had it happen. <laughs> and so you get this. Um, now you have a one tone. This is whatever red or green you're going to have only dark green, right? Like that. But to do the two tone that you see here, I'm using this um, little, oh, it's like a, a gold. little pot. It's like a little... Um, metallic cream we call it take it with your finger and then apply it you want to get your finger dirty i want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah i should have um you know i'll be able i should be able I to love do how it with a flame how many colors are there enormous <laughs> <laughs> no what it is is actually these are the long ones and because we didn't have enough color, because this, this guy burned down mm. actually a couple of years ago, oh. and they have really a hard time to keep up. We took also a shorter stick to get more colors. Okay. But basically, they do the same. They are with flexible. And, this. and what is this called? Like if somebody's going to wax? No, I know, but like the and seal. This is sealing wax. But it's plume. No, no, the oh, brand. Papier plume. Papier plume. Papier. That's right. That's what I was trying to get at. Papier plume. <laughs> Papier plume. Is the Papier plume. Got it. In your net. And ultimately, 
if you don't want to be romantic, use a glue gun. No. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, so right. you can. It's the right you size. You can. I didn't plug it. Sorry, guys. We could have done a demo. I would have been. <laughs> it's all good. It's all but good. I'm but not no, romantic. Will... <laughs> I'm not using it. <laughs> Let me guess what country we're from here. I'm not all right. <laughs> it's wonderful. Not. Okay. So where can somebody, if they want to purchase this, where can they find this? It's here from here. From here. Okay. Papier so from would I they be able to look on Amazon potentially to find these products? It's possible, but papierplume.com is the best. All right. Yes. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah, because you don't know where you find in other... Totally get it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much. You. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. <laughs> thank you. I love that. That's awesome. And these are amazing. I love these, too. Yeah. These are so cool. They're all like this. It's like all little bits and pieces. You can see they're all these little... You pop them out. They are working like this. Yes. Exactly. And look. Right? Look at that. That's the, oh, the best. These are so cool. Thank you. These are going to fly off the shelf. They're so cool. <laughs> uh, they're they actually the most popular of the show. Yeah. I See? I told you. Yeah. <laughs> I call it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have foresight. <laughs> yeah, foresight. <laughs> I know, right? I know. All right. Over here we have Angel's Craft. So lots of different products. Uh, I believe if you wanted to um, have these items in your store, you would order them probably from China, I'm guessing, and they would be able to be in your store. So it's a wholesale situation. You can have them available. But yeah. Yeah, I think they're on the other side. They're so, asking. Yeah. Oh, which one? Lindy's. Yeah, we're gonna. What's our timing? Uh, we're gonna get. We got. We got time today, guys. Yeah. This is. This is what today was all about. Was walking around. We were trying to get some other fun ones, but today was the filming day. So what time? Sorry, yeah. you said it and. Yes, yeah, so we still got two hours. We're good. We're good. What's our battery at? It's gonna be um, I don't know. It didn't show here. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come around to the camera real fast. I don't want to touch anything. Uh, 53. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Books for, oh, it's okay to film real fast? Okay, okay. so lots of, uh, books are awesome, I love books. So here we have Rocky Nook, all types of amazing books for the arts and crafts and for the artistic person. So check out Crafty Nook for your how-to books for all things arts and crafts. I think we might need a mimosa break. Oh, maybe. If we can make our way over there in time. Hello! I know, this is a very American thing to do with launching in with my camera. You guys are not used to this in England. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the five minute pitch, what you got? Five minute pitch, what, are we live? Yes. Oh, boy, where, to, where <laughs> to start? Well, we've got loads of art material stuff on sale at the booth. So we've got our, essentially, we've taken elements out of our artful kits and we're now selling them on their own. Oh. So you can buy these mini artful kits. So for $10, this is the wholesale price, it'd be $20 retail. Okay. You can get some pastels, refresh in this little kit. So if someone's already bought the pastel box, they've obviously used all the materials. They come back, they get a little refresher, go back and they continue making their work. We're also selling like individual paints, individual pads, individual magazines. So if someone comes into the shop, they already have all the materials. They just want to Inspiration. figure out how they can actually learn how to do soft pastels. They can buy one of these. There's loads of tutorials and inspiration in there. Very cool. There we go. Watercolors. Yeah, watercolors. Then we have our actual boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. they're still great. Yeah, it's still great. Every single box teaches a particular medium. So, for example, our screen printing box here gives you all the materials you need to learn how to do screen printing all in one place. So it's great for if you've got someone coming in who wants to learn or someone who wants to buy it for a gift for someone, mm -hmm. especially screen printing, because it can be quite difficult to figure out what you actually need. It's a little daunting if you've never done it before. Exactly. Yeah. And if yeah, you've yeah. got an art shop, if you sell one of these, you've got to hope that the customer is going to use it, come back to you and buy the individual elements from your stock that you're buying from elsewhere. So we've got that. Then if we move over to here, we've got our art prints, which we're actually currently selling because it's the last day. So yeah. if you want an art print, you can buy one. Yeah. We've got about 200 art prints in total. They're risograph prints. So they're uh, done uh, as close to by hand as, as possible on a mass production sense. So we've got loads of different ones. Then through Attention, here. Please. Attention, please. <laughs> Good afternoon. That everybody. one's funny. I like that one. That one's day. pretty funny. Then through Just here. Yeah. We have we got will be all doing of our drawing drawing for the scavenger hunt at 1 p.m. Oops. So we've got loads Remember, of different green cards. We've probably got about 600 in total. So this is our and funny section. Yeah. These cards do really, so really well for us. One hour to complete your scavenger hunt. 
and get into the Nanta booth. <laughs> Have so much fun and enjoy it. These oh, have got a lot of laughs. Oh, they're fun, they're fun. fun. And then the best-selling card out of all of our cards in the company is right over here. It's that little cat there on the laptop. <laughs> that one's got some. Happy birthday. People just love to <laughs> That is that. funny. That is so funny. I love the artwork. That is too hilarious. These are too funny. Oh, my goodness. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> some, of these are, some of them are quite rude, especially on this one, so yeah, make sure your viewers know. We got cool viewers. We got all viewers. Remember when hangers only lasted a day? Yeah, I think I'm in that boat after last night. Oh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then just in this section, our last little section, we've got more cards there, but here we have all oh, of look our at the notebooks, notebooks and planners. That's so we have paperback notebooks, we have our luxury Kaleido notebooks. Yeah. And then we have our daily planners just there, all inside, undated, so you don't have any time limit on when you have to use them by. I love that, yeah. Because sometimes you don't need to do a plan for us. Like exactly, it's a Sunday, you know, it's a day off. Sometimes you go on holiday and forget yeah. your planner. You don't want to come back and not be able to use it. Right, 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 right. That's smart, 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 smart. Well, thank you. That's Notebook's right. not for sale. Darn it. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. We need them for another but show. But for sale online. You can go get it yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, you can go get it online. <laughs> just yeah. not here. <laughs> it's not here. Yeah, but you can buy a card. So if you want to buy any all cards right, later, right. feel free might to come buy it later. How you feeling this morning? Good. <laughs> <laughs> he was part of our party last night. <laughs> uh, two? <laughs> yeah, so an hour after. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't two. They kicked us off the one stage, and we had to get. We were really jamming us on some really good '90s tunes. We were voguing. The Evanescence song. Yeah, yeah and then we had the Evanescence. Yeah, so we had fun. Well, we just did our little spiel here. Hope you're going to... You did great. Good. Good. <laughs> I'll All right. keep him. I'll keep him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. All right. One of our party, party people last night. All right. So here we have Leisure Arts. Okay to film? Okay. Awesome. Leisure Arts is amazing. If you need a kit, if you need an instructional book, I love all of their kits that they have here. They have wonderful art books that teach you how to do things. Lots of amazing. And just take a look at all the different books back here. I love these little kits here. Look at this. <laughs> all these embroidery kits are so, so beautiful. Take these on vacation. It's something you can do while you're on a plane, on in a car. And then, of course, we have all of the crochet kits. Look at the adorable crochet kits. These are so cute. Everything you need is in here. The instructions, all of th this is just so look at. Come on, right? Oh, look at. Super, super cute. Uh, here we have a whole bunch of wood product line. Oh, you guys are getting into, I love the rainbow paper lines. That is awesome. Lots of wonderful card stocks if you need some good card. What is the GSM on here? 65 pounds? Acid free? 65. So really good to go in your Cricut, your Silhouette. That's the, that's the perfect weight paper for going into there. And then we have some more brushes. And then they also have some of uh, so some stencils. There's, there's all kinds of amazing things here. So go to Leisure Arts. You can find them at leisurearts.com, I believe. Leisurearts.com. Leisure Arts and PA distribution. Okay, there we go. I need a card. You need a card? I'll take this. You go to your thing. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. take the camera again. Here we go. All right. So we have Daylight Company. Daylight Company is a wonderful company if you're needing wonderful lights that can, you know, just make everything kind of come alive. Over here we have creative pens. Pens and mar okay, sorry, that's different. So here we have color velvet. Oh, I remember doing this as a kid. This is so much fun. So you have your velvet, and then you can color on the velvet. This is, I remember doing this. This is just so much fun. Yep. yep. This is a blast. The difference is we've upgraded the designs and the images uh -huh. to make sure they're a little bit more detailed, especially like the seahorse and stuff like that. Oh, and my goodness. We use a three times thicker board mm -hmm. and then 50% uh, more velvet, and ours don't come off. Oh, yeah, so I remember that. It's exactly. like you'd mark and all of a sudden it would you'd come have a right black off. Mark all over you, uh, than the actual it'd be on the pen. Oh, and here's yeah, some so that are already so colored. We make everything in Italy. Uh, and we've been doing it for about 28 years, and now That's we're exploring all over the world. We're that, that is so cool. I love it. Very cool. Thanks. Thank you. That's, I love doing those as a kid. And now I love that it's like even better. Yeah, it's, yes, it's, it's like, that's awesome. All right, didn't I just call rug hooking? 
Didn't I? I just said, like, raw cooking was a thing a while ago. I bet that's going to come back. And look what I just saw. I just commented about this last night. I was like, I remember doing this as a kid. I had a rainbow one. I loved it. This is, oh. I nailed it. I nailed it. I am the predictor of all things coming back, including scrapbooking. <laughs> no, but it's going to, like, resurgence. Resurgence, baby. All right, we have manuscripts. Half the people are out walking around because it's the last day, unfortunately, but it's great to do, go in the booth and see the stuff, <laughs> I'll have to say. So lots of amazing products over here. Different, look all the, all the uh, old fashioned script quill pens and all the different nibs and then the different inks. Look at these beautiful breath, look at these. Look how gorgeous these are. I want that one. <laughs> calligraphy sets, a lot of calligraphy sets, beginner calligraphy sets, yeah. Beautiful pens. Here you have the ones that are the off-centered ones. Those are fantastic. Right. So here, look. Right. Yes. Very, very cool. That is so funny about the stupid rug hook thing. I nailed that. <laughs> All right. We got Golden over here. New Leaf. Actually, here's Arnold. So Arnold Grummers, they do handmade paper. You can make your own paper. And then there's New Leaf paper. Lots of beautiful papers. So, so cool. Green notes, memo books that save endangered trees. Ooh. So the memo, so these are recycled notebooks. I don't know what, how to, memo book that helps. I'm not sure why, it's, oh, scan. I don't know why these are green books that save trees, but I like the idea of it. It seems like one of the big themes this year in terms of a lot of the products, you probably have caught this, is sustainable. Sustainability and you know, making sure that we're not damaging our environment with our art making and our supplies. So repurposing things like the Toss products, reusing cardboard products to make the Toss so it doesn't go down the sink. Up recycled paints using you know household paints to make paints. So it's a cool thing that a lot of companies are kind of thinking forward about what to do with the products. Oh, okay, so we're back to Odeer. Here we have 20 new watercolors from Golden. Here we look at that. Golden paints, 20 new watercolors. And I believe they are right here. Here they are, but you can see the swatching on there. At the, the lights are causing havoc with the camera right now, but look how beautiful. I like how they made the swatch really nice and big to make it easy to see. That's smart. That was smart, smart, smart. And that's, that's golden. Usually they have a bigger thing. They just kind of have the one big thing. It's, it's like a little maze though. Look at this. It's like you have to walk into the maze of stuff. Oh, oh, new acrylic colors is in this wall. It's like a little fun maze. Look at this. New, oh, they actually painted on here. This is really painted on here. So that's so cool. And you can see how they put the markings. Light, failure, blue, fluorescent, magenta. So much neon this year too. Are you noticing that? A lot of neon, a lot, a lot of neon. The thing about upcycling, sustainability, neon. And new things coming back around, like the rug hooking. So here we have Colhart. Colhart is a distributor for a lot of different brands, like Snazaroo. You know, they're paint face. So this is what you would use with the stencils from Stencil One. This would, be the, this would be the paint that you would use on your face for doing your face painting with the stencils. That would be a perfect match for that. So here we have Windsor & Newton, also distributed by Cole Art. Looks like they had an artist that was here for a little while. And then we have, show you the new fun thing. So edding markers, you guys know I love my edding markers. I'm gonna put this in my bag real fast. Edding Markers has a brand new set of markers that are all glitter. So there's glitter markers here, let me show you. If I don't drop them all on the floor, I'll get, the, I'll get that in a minute, I promise, I promise, I promise. So we ran into Olga earlier, she was over when we were by the big float, but just take a look at the marker here. See the shimmer on there? That is an awesome shimmer. So they come in a few different packs. So this is a 10 pack. And I keep dropping pens on the floor. Seriously, I need help, people. So look, aren't those amazing? I love these. I got to bring a couple home. They gave me a set, but there are some, and they have lots of amazing markers. Their fine liners or draw liners are awesome. Acrylic markers, it's like acrylic in a point. Glass paint markers can go on plastic, glass, paper, and wood. 
fabulous markers. Textile markers, they go on all your textiles. Chalk markers, they're really fun, beautiful chalk markers that wipe clean. So you can do them on your, um, like your windows and then they can wipe off. They're just, there's, and then there's porcelain brush pens. So you can do them on porcelain, you heat set them, and then they're there. So we could do mugs, plates, charcuterie boards. It's a ton of fun. Just make sure it's on porcelain. So I'm going to pick up the pen that I dropped. Do I have my other mic? Why is it on? Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. She's worried. Yeah, I just didn't, because it was just me talking, so I popped it off. Thank you for making sure I didn't lose something. All right. So you guys wanted to see some diamond dots. They're behind us. So let's check out the diamond dots. So look at all the cutie characters. Isn't this awesome? I love all the cutie characters. It's gone from being kind of like the big peacocks and very to like more cutesy. This one is so adorable. I love this one. I like that it's not all. Not yes, enough. it's it's a mixture. They're so cute. So that's like the cutesy wall. Um, oh, she did say also, because we were here earlier. So they have a couple of these little stickers. There's crowns and then they also had hearts. And we did pick up a couple. I'm going to bring and she's like, Take one, take five, take 10. I think at this point in the show, everybody is trying to not bring all the extra stuff home. So guess what these are gonna go into? Some people are gonna get these. These are for the swag bag. So if you are a glitter or a silver member of my YouTube channel and you signed up, I have swag bags I'm gonna be mailing out to all those members. And some people are gonna be getting some of these. So it's just random items, giveaways from companies that are saying, yes, please take them. I already asked about this earlier because I was talking with Olo this morning. So it's totally fine. But let's go take a look at some of the other fun ones. And these are for Rhonda and I. Feel that, it's a heavy pen. Oh, see, I'm, I'm a pen person. It's a good quality pen. Now yeah. let me pop it in the back. Don't let me forget to give it to you. <laughs> Rhonda's getting the, the swag of all swag yeah. while we're here. <laughs> oh, she's grabbing another one. <laughs> so just look, I love on the pencil case. Look at this, this is a cute idea. Oh, that's cute. That is fun. So it's not just a, oh, and it's fuzzy on the other side. And then they have the stickers. I love the bracelets. So lots of fun diamond dots on different surfaces other than just, you know, a painting or a piece of wall art but the wall art ones are fun. And then they have ones for kids. Look at the Peppa Pig set, you know, the Paw Patrol set. Here we have the quick dots. It's more like a card, which is fun. So here's the stickers, the cutesy little stickers, really fun ones. So if you've got a younger kid, this would be perfect for them. Or, you know, just there's a little, a little wristband, a little, little wrists, that's a, that's a tiny wrist. <laughs> but I love the cards. They can really have fun. And then here, like here's a whole uh, value pack of different cards that you can do. So many fun things with diamond art. It's fun, fun, fun. Oh, and here's some more kid sets that you can do. It's so much fun. Oh, and then they also do have these as well. Hey, Hello, we're filming around in here, is that okay? As long as you ask. <laughs> <laughs> I asked, nobody was here for me to ask. So I was just like, tell me about the diamond dots because you were talking about rolling them up and how they don't come off. Yeah. Yeah, because people are asking, how do they stick? Oh, how do they oh. stay on? Can you give us a little heads up on that? So, yeah, so what we do is we have two different things that it's we my have. My mic. Oh, oh, you're so fine. I'm Keep going. You're good. Yeah. So, what we do is we have two different solutions that you use. So, if you want to go onto a canvas that is not traditional and you want to like do like a denim jacket or something like that. What you want to do is you want to put on our dot stick first, the area that you want to put the diamond dots on. Once you get Can the you dots. Can you show us that? No, no. unfortunately, some, we've given away all. Oh, of the, you've given away right? all. Okay, okay. Yeah, but um, you put the uh, dot stick down, and once you get the dot stick down, you go ahead and craft your art. Okay. And once you craft that art, you put the dark guard on top, give it 48 hours, and then it will bind, and you're good to go, and you'll have a piece that looks something like this. So is the dot stick a paint, like a glue product, or, like a, or is it a Correct. fabric? Okay, it's so it's a, like it's a, it's a glue. Product. Okay, so it's you can glue. spread it across wherever you're wanting it. Okay. Exactly. So like right here, for example, what we did is, this was just a regular pillow, and we decided to put dot stick across here, because this is where we wanted to put the dots. Once we were done, we added the dots guard to the top and gave it 48 hours to rest. And now it won't? Yeah, yeah no, go ahead. He was talking about earlier about yeah. rolling them, the, yeah, the no, pieces like, up and... Oh, to make sure, yeah. So like, for my jacket, per se. They're loving your jacket. <laughs> I'm glad. I didn't get to see it yet, because you turned away from me. Oh so, my goodness, I love it. jacket, but like, when we're talking about rolling it up, like literally, I'll take it, fold it in half, and then roll it up. They're not gonna all pop, 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 pop. 
You tell me. No, yeah, it's really great. <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's so, awesome. And you can buy it. them outside of the kit as solid colors. And okay, yeah, and beautiful. You pick what you want. All you got to do is make sure you get your dot stick and your dot guard, and you're good to go. Very cool. And then you can just go ahead and freestyle as much as you want. And this is like the part of the blind that we want to grow because we want to see people do their own designs. Having fun, right? Not just. Following no, not along. just our own. Oh, you can follow along and have fun. Yeah, yeah. But we like to see people do creative ideas and like, yeah. this is a creative idea for someone else. Like, this is one of our cre creators that said, hey, we're going to stick one of our canvases directly onto here. Right. Same thing with that canvas down there. Instead of hanging it up on the wall in a regular picture frame, she just put it on a little piece of wood and stacked it on the wall. Beautiful. So, I love it. Oh, you, you got a yourself a paint things. pack. Don't lose your paint book. Some, we won't put some over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do with these shows, right? We yeah. trade our stuff and we get to play with other people's things. Yeah. Let yeah. it come. Oh, they're come loving on. this. Yeah. I love All it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Yes, we're good. We're good. <laughs> rocked it. Good. You rocked you put, you it. Put an, you put me in active mode. I was like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to perform now. All right. Let's keep going. That is, look at this. Okay. So remember, I was talking about sustainability. Take a look at this. So this canvas right here is made from recycled plastic bottles. Sustainability. I love this. 100%. So this is from Liquitex, professional grade, sustain, and it's a recycled canvas. That is the coolest thing ever. See, people are, we're really starting to think in this industry about how to move forward in a better way and what is the best way to help preserve. Yes, we still want to art. We still want to create. We still want to do our things. We're just going to do a little bit smarter. That's awesome. All right. So again, Liquitex is part of Coal Arts. This is a distributor. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that canvas. That is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. All right. So nothing happened much in Demo Alley because we are at the end of kind of where everything is going on, but we have not hit in this back corner. And where is Lindy's? Because I know that was being asked. Do you know where in the showroom floor Lindy's was okay well we're gonna hit this back corner let me take this for a minute and if you can make sure so we don't miss Lindy's and shout out if you guys have seen stuff as I've been walking around hang on hang on guys look look look, look. yay <laughs> all right oh this is pretty cool this all paint products so this is a do you mind if I come in and film Cool. So can you tell us a little bit about what this is? Oh my goodness, yes. We are filming. Oh, hi. We are live. Yes, Aaron. Hello. I'm Phyllis and I am representing iFlex Wood Products. And we, our parent company is, is All Paint. just my mic so that people can hear you. Perfect. All Paint Products is our parent company. So iFlex Wood Products is a flexible wood molding. So when it is in its cold state, it is ready to be painted, stained, sanded, or drilled. So it's hard, it's not flexible. Oh, do that again, because I didn't catch that. Yep. Thank you. So, and you can see when it is, it is completely non-flexible. Okay. But this is the magic. When it is warm, it is completely oh. flexible. You can wrap it around. All it takes is a good quality wood glue and and you're heating it with a like heat your, gun but would you your need, crafting heat gun work it will take a little bit longer depending on the heat temperature okay so this if you're using yeah oh you're actually griddle. putting this on yes. a griddle oh i didn't so, understand why it was yes. okay cool. so this is a griddle less than 275 degrees okay because at 275 degrees you're not scorching the wood if you accidentally put it a little bit higher that's okay you can take a little sandpaper and just sand it right off everybody's saying hi phyllis by the way hi how are y'all <laughs> we are having such a blast and i'm so happy miss erin came to see us we are loving this and getting to show this really cool product so with this again it takes stain very well it takes any kind of paint so a lot of folks are like oh what can i put on it we don't care what color clothes or how what we you know where we can wear from walmart all the way up to the high dollar paints iflex loves everything because it's wood if you take a look at this is Eleanor from Fast and Furious. Oh my goodness! So her Sorry, I'm whole dress. I'm my water down. I got parched yes, all of a sudden. Her whole dress 
all of this is our eye flex from her necklaces to her bracelets and her whole dress. So what's really good, the best practice for this, heat it, glue it, heat it again. There is no word for So you get it on there while it's warm, you hold it down, and when you apply that second round of heat, it goes and it holds it in so you don't have to tape it down. Like I said, there's no wood or no word for <laughs> just saying. It works. So, what it we, works. What was the sound we were doing over in the other booth? I don't know. We did something and we both did the same thing. And it was just like, yep, because that's what it is. That's it's it. A, yeah, that's there's it. just sounds sometimes make the best answers. It takes metallics. You can highlight it. There is nothing that you can't do with this iFlex. So it goes to wood, paper, glass, plastics. It's just a matter of making sure it molds. You can make it a 3D. It's multimedia. It's furniture, architectural. So we have little bitty tiny bees all the way to big architectural pieces. So why do you heat it the second time? It activates the glue and... <laughs> okay. That's the... That's the... So... You know, when you're using a, a real wood embellishment, you have to level it out. There's no piece of wood, plastic, or glass that is 100% flat. So when you glue it on, sometimes you have to put that extra caulking around. What's great about iFlex, it will mold to it. So when you suck it up, <laughs> it sticks to it really great. And again, you can do so much. Have you had a chance to check out some of our other items that we've Not done? Yeah, we just came oh, over here. Over. So we can do any kind of, this is just a pumpkin that we used our paint couture. So glazes and glitter glass, stuff like that. So you need something borrowed, something blue for our wedding. You can zhuzh up the hangers and match it to whatever um, theme you have going on. And then on this side. So have you ever heard of boulevard shopping? Yeah. Okay, so boulevard shopping, you find it on the side of the boulevard, yeah. but you know that you can fix it, right? The trash Absolutely. day, go around trash the Trash day, yep. exactly. So this is all of our iFlex. You can, once it's cooled off, you can drill straight through it and still use your same hardware. Oh, nice. Just put a stronger, uh, longer, uh, whatever, length. Multimedia, this is how it starts off. Then you can roll it, and once it cools off, it retains that shape. So you can use anything. So we have five inch trims, up to seven and a half foot trims, but not only can we met another vendor and we collaborated with Be The Lawn. Yeah. And he took our trim, cut it out, and then added the beads to it, oh, made fun. us an earring and a oh, little medallion. That's cool. So this is our wood. Um, layer it, layer it, multimedia, um, stack it, kids for craft cap or crafts for kids <laughs> kids uh, for crafts yeah kids for crafts <laughs> so you can just mold it to anything so there's no learning curve right. as long as you're protecting the little fellas and the dolls and girls right you can use it on anything our trims go great around oh, the edges beautiful so finished edges on signs on just about anything so yeah, books, you can do it in books. Scrapbook in folks. You can do the binders. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the binders. You can because we have little bitty embellishments that are like bees, you can actually add it too. We have some skulls. Right. And I have a cat named Edgar Allan Poe. So I did a whole scrapbook or junk journal on Edgar Allan Poe. And he's got the little, you know, the little skulls. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I gotta have a cat book, you know? Yeah, of course, of course. I'm the crazy cat lady. And this is trims some of our flowers the it's whole nine yards it's a pie i love it so yeah, and then the little dragonfly usually we have his tail sticking up but with so many people coming by oh. he would have his little tail would have gone <laughs> so it's so much fun so easy that's so cool thank y'all so much for coming Absolutely. by can you reheat it yes absolutely you can reheat it not only that say you make a mistake the glue that we use, we use one type of glue. You can use any kind of good quality wood glue. But say you want to reposition or you don't like it. Once you're on there, you're like, oh, no, that's horrible. 
Take your heat gun, start heating it up, take a dental floss or something, pull it right behind to loosen the glue and pull your iFlex off. And then when you pull the iFlex off, you can reposition it and glue it back on or put a whole nother element on it. So it is, it is so easy to use. Sorry, I have to you, hydrate. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, like, I'm talking and talking and talking. I don't think you guys know my voice is already starting to go. So yeah. pay no attention to me hydrating in the corner here. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> We've been you. watching you go around and <laughs> watched your live last night. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. I'm coming by. Don't worry. I was getting here. I just Today was my big live day. Yes. Because I was demoing in some of the other booths over the past yes. few days. Yes. I saw so. you. You were doing a great oh, job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm Wearing one of my many hats. I love it. Yes. Awesome. Thank beautiful. you. Check us out at allpaintproducts.com or vangossendistributors.com. Okay. And we can help you out. So we do wholesale and retail. So if you're not a retailer yourself, you can definitely just go check us out and check they're things probably out. wanting to know where to buy it for them to use it. Oh, absolutely. Vangossendistributors.com or allpaintproducts.com. There you go. All right. And check us out. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so it. much. Right. Y'all be safe going home. <laughs> I'm going to grab my bag and I spy Stacy right over here. So why don't you go over to, I'm going to grab my bag and then we're going to go see her. Sorry, I'm leaving my bag behind. Yeah, no, I was like, what is this? That's me just and being I, lazy I you and not. Girl. You were not there. No, we went into the markers. I did it on the live. Ah. Yeah. Well, you'll get to see, I think, the whole live if you, um, that she just taped too. So she'll tell you all about it. <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right, we are over here with Stacy Park, who just launched her new collection with Sizzix. So, again and again. Hi. Why live? Is that cool? Um, are you busy doing this? Yeah, okay. No, we're good. I'm good. And I've got no, 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 no. coming. Okay. Well, just a quick shout out. Just all we need. Sure. So, hello, hello. One minute. That's all you got. So, these are all your new collections with Sizzix, correct? Yep. Can you yeah. Guys there we go. Out. Just a quick span. That's all we need. We're good. I know you're busy and you guys are flying out today. I know you're rolling yeah. out pretty quick. So I okay, love so your new collection. We'll just talk about, like you have, how many new collections are you here as? You got your card, you got Couture Creations, you got your Sizzix line, you got so many amazing new things going on. Give me your one minute spiel. Oh my God, I don't do one minute. Okay. <laughs> have you not ever seen me before? I have, but I know you said you were busy, so I just wanted to do a really quick. Yeah, I just don't know what time is coming, but you should, you should have been here. <laughs> you should have been here. I get it, I get it. Shh, I didn't, I didn't hear that, I didn't hear that. Well, I'll leave you be because I know you're busy and you're focused on the next thing. So thank you so much. You've been amazing no, this entire week. Cool. Okay, okay, let's it's go. Just, it just makes me mad because I. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I'm I here know. on time. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Well, so what are what are your paints here or your okay. inks that you've got going on right here? Okay, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Stacy. Sorry about the voice. It happens, right? It's been such an amazing show that I lost my voice being so wahoo could chew. I have got. Let's see, new product from Sizzix. So my March collection has launched. My May collection is coming. After that, look forward to a July collection and an October collection. I've got my new inks from Jacquard. We've got 12 inks out right now with 12 re-inkers. Six more coming in July. Awesome. A few more coming later this year. I have Thank got you. beautiful, beautiful microfine glitters from Couture Creations. It is they are stunning. This is just, they're so, wow, right? I mean, we are talking bling bling without the bling bling. This is the finest glitter you will ever work with and it doesn't make a mess. There is so much new coming out. I've got, I've got a whole nother manufacturer we haven't even announced yet. I know, oh, crazy. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be so, awesome. I, I'm so excited to have all of this fabulous product. I'm thrilled to be here amongst all of these creatives. It's been a wonderful experience, and I hope that you have had the opportunity to enjoy it all through Erin's videos because she has rocked it. She's ready. I mean, when she leaves, she should drop the mic and walk <laughs> off the stage. She has I done. Well, I won't actually drop it, though. <laughs> You've done such an amazing so job much. the whole time. I'm going to give you a big hug. I know yes. you got a meeting coming, and I know you got to do jet real fast. Thank you so much for everything. Yes, absolutely, you guys. Stay creative. Thank you. See, you did it. Like, that was what? What? Maybe a minute and a half? Three she minutes, nailed it. I guarantee you. Ah. That's a quickie. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Are you guys flying in today? Tomorrow.
Yeah. Flying home tomorrow. Travel safe. You too. You too. I, I saw you guys all with your suitcases rolling in. Yeah, we're <laughs> leaving. Um, don't demonetize me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we already talked about notions. Notions that one of the you have a product and you want to be able to get your in here. We talked about notions. We're gonna gloss over. But yes, here we have uh, Nouveau. So we have Tonic. We have Craft Perfect. They have a ton of different products. So if you own a store, you can go through notions and put an order in for a lot of different stores at the same time. All right. Here we have Yes Somo. Is it okay to film? Sorry, how to, how to say it again. Yes Tomo. Yes Tomo. I was forgetting the T. Yes Tomo. Can you tell us a little bit about what your what your company is all about? Yeah, um, so we're a Japanese company um, based in the This US. is just the mic, so that we, oh. they can hear you. Thank you. Um, yeah, and so we specialize in a lot of Japanese Asian products, especially like origami, which is what we decided That's to so showcase pretty. in our little photo booth area. Um, and then we have, of course, Asian products like sumi ink, washi paper, which is Japanese paper, aka rice paper, mm -hmm. a lot of brushes. Um, and we've been bringing in more kits because we know everybody likes to make it easy to get into. Can we come product. in and get a little closer yeah, shot of that? Do. Fabulous. Don't let me forget my water bottle right here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay hydrated on the showroom floor. So important to stay hydrated. Yeah. Um, yeah, so these are some like Asian Sumi kits. This is with the Suzuri Stone and a, uh, excuse me, Suzuri Stone and a Sumi ink stick. And we also have a liquid version, Bokoju ink. Um, silver Point's been making a little bit of a comeback lately, so we decided to kit it with a Silver Point stylus and mineral paper, which takes the Silver Point as is, no gesso preparation needed. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's been doing pretty well. Um, some wafure brushes, which means Japanese brushes. <laughs> um, and then this, this is one of our most iconic products. This little green bottle is a black liquid sumi ink. And this is what you can create with it. Oh, beautiful. Classic Asian pieces like this. Yeah, they're so pretty. Um, and it's glossy because you guys lay on it, so it wouldn't get damaged, right? It doesn't <laughs> right. normally come. Okay. Because everyone's not normally a glossy thing. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I get it. All right, I got to do a little photo op. Uh, pretend it's a picture. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have a lot of beautiful origami Look papers. At all these. these ones are one oh of my, my personal gosh. favorites. It feels like fabric when you take it out of the package, and it even has some gold shimmery bits, accents. So you junk journaling. Yeah, crazy. yeah. Junk journaling. So it's beautiful. Not, origami is not just for origami. Yes. Yeah. The papers yeah. are so beautiful. Yeah. I My love origami subject. papers. Yeah. And if you'd like to, you can get some really cool shots of some artwork over on this yeah. one. Yeah. Let's go over there. We'll get out of the way. Yeah. Look how beautiful. Yeah, they're loving the paper, too. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not talking right now because I'm just looking. I'm enjoying. I'm loving the fish. Oh, the, oh. So, and what are all these little cuties over here? Well, I would love for you to pick some little cuties. Oh. Uh, but these are pieces made by our artist, Karen Elaine. Um, and we like to do Facebook Lives now and then too, so people might recognize the techniques that she's used here. But we have little um, like fodder pieces that she loves to do, little inspiring okay. quotes. Few origami pieces. I found the so one I want. Hodgepodge. Yeah. I like the blue one. The blue one. Which one? The, in the middle. The big. The this? Square. Yeah. All right. Nice. That's Rhonda's. I took the rainbow. I'm going to take a second rainbow. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. These are to grab. These are little finger puppets. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Yep. Okay. And then speaking of drunk journaling, little things that look, look at those. great. Oh. Yeah. oh, my goodness. Okay. May I have one of these? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to give this one to my daughter. She would love that. This is for Catherine. Thank Catherine's you. gonna love this one. And Fabulous. before you leave, we would love to also oh, give you ladies these little you. pouches and swag bags. Thank um, you so much. Wait, you get one? Yes. I get one. Thank you so much. Course, I appreciate there's some that. There's goodies in there. There's some. I get them. Some more goodies. <laughs> I get some goodies. All right, so say the name of the company again. Yasatomo. Yasatomo. Yes, yeah, their 70th cool. anniversary, so it's a big deal. That gift. is amazing. That is yeah. so awesome. Yeah. Oh, you grabbed my water. She already snagged my water bottle for me because I hit it back behind the sign. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And for anybody who would like to purchase any of these items, where can they find the products? So our home buyers at home. Yeah, check your favorite art supplies retailer. We're in most major retailers, and then like a lot of local spots have us. Um, and you can always look us up online if you need any help finding the store closest to you. Cool. All right, there you go. So support your local art stores, your arts and local arts and craft stores. Seriously, that's where, see we got our bag for our goodies. You gotta support your local, I'll take the water bottle again. 
Um, otherwise, they're going to go away. We've already seen, heard of some of the stores being closing down, and that's just not fun. So if you're seeing any of these products here, you're like, oh my gosh, that is the best thing ever. Go to your local art stores and make sure you get those because that's what we need. All right. What do we have over here? Hello. Hello. Is it okay to film? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're about? How are you guys doing? We're um, good. So I'm here with uh, Shashihara. Uh, we are a ink technology company. We manufacture... This is just the mics. They can uh, hear you. Oh, different craft stamps. Um, we have our color palette. Uh, we have stamp pads. And we have a whole wide variety of uh, professional and arts and crafts uh, markers. So I see poster markers. I see felt tip markers, art line markers. Yes. What else we do you have, got over there? We have brush markers. We have uh, the uh, different um, drawing pens. So... Um, your tech pens or okay. you know so. very cool and then we have art line sticks those things are cool i gotta get a little closer to those because those look real fun i think just the texture on those it just looks amazing yeah and art line sticks is um a product that we created um so that they can oh, look at this it's build and draw you can snap them together and so much fun. it's um it's great for any kids in the spectrum because mm. it has the texture, the feel, and it also has the triangular... Uh, do you have one out so we can see it? I do not, but I will open it. <laughs> I know, they just look so cool. Like the tacti tactability. What color would you like? Green. There you go. All right. How's it? Oh. Okay, you're going to have to do that because I'm holding the mic. Oh, okay. I was just up and there. And they're all brush. Ah. But you can snap other ones yeah, like Legos so together. You can snap... Like the three oh, yes. that's cool. So you, can, you can snap oh, the look at that. on, or um, you can take them and you know put them together. Oh put my Put two goodness. together. Pull that the, is so cool. Pull the caps off them. And and that's, cool. that's cool. That is cool. Look like at you all smart. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just looking, yeah, the texture of it. I can see the kids just liking to be able to feel it, rubbing their hands up and exactly. down that. Yeah, yeah, totally get that. Totally get that. That is so cool. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. What do I'm you Aaron. Do? Content creation. All right. Can I scan your badge? Sure. And are you an influencer then? Yes. Okay. We're interested in... Uh, <laughs> that is know. me. Do you want my card? This is in, no, this is good. Okay. In yes. Influencer. I do all kinds of content video. The short form videos. So shorts, reels, lives, edited videos, all that. I host art retreats, craft retreats, online, in person, all that jazz. And what, um, what would be the average cost? I mean, well, let me, let's email back and forth because we're live right now. Oh, no worries. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Say so, your business deals. Yes. No. Email me, and I will email you my media kit. Thank you. Hello, Pro Tapes. Okay to film? Sure. So, what are you guys all about? Um, mostly about um, gaffers, uh, pro pro uh, pro artists. Right now, we're a pro artist tape and crepe pH crepe paper tape. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, for masking, Correct. is it like does it come clean after you've put it off paper? Yes. So it's very yes. releasable. I guess is yes, the right is. word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did I say that right? <laughs> awesome. So cool. So just think like if you're wanting to do like a good masking and you're needing to have like, so we have lots of paper crafters and they want to mask off a section because they're stamping but not stamp over that. So this would be because the perfect like, tape. Mm -hmm. And then I'm guessing it tears beautifully. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Look at the, and there's different colors, but is there also different thicknesses? Correct. Cool. You can customize to whatever you guys are looking for. Cool. I like this stuff. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right, we're going to swing around over here because we have a few that we missed back here. We already got Prima. How's our time? Uh, it is 12.40. 12.40, all right. We got... Okay, so we're going to do here, and then we're going to cut across the back side. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Buttons Glower, cool to video. Hello, hello, hello. Always got to ask. So, give us your five-minute pitch. I'm loving all the products. Are you doing this or am I? <laughs> I love everybody who's just like, 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 no, you do it. No, I don't want to do it. No, you do it. <laughs> well, your audience is primarily paper crafters, right? Uh, we have a little bit of everything. Bit of everything. So, I mean, yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool because that's how we started way back when. Buttons galore. <laughs> 
round novelty buttons. Right. And we expanded into theme novelty buttons. Uh, scrap, uh, scrapbooking was a big audience back then, and right. now Paper Crafters yes. really has taken over. So we have the embellishments with a Z. All of our <laughs> collections end in a Z. Sparklets, sprinklets, pearls, right. half pearls, sparkling sentiments, jewels, crystals. All behind me. Lots of light, lots of bling. Well, let's go take a look. Let's pan around and take a look at some of the fun stuff. So here we have our the sparklets. This is just the mic so people can hear us as we're sure. far away. So Lots of acrylic shapes, sequins. They combine together. We theme them. We colorize them into groups. I love all of these. These and are so fun. Now you're moving on to the clamshell the packaging. Canadian yep. flag. Polymer clay pieces. Again, very popular with sprinkle, sprinklets for shaker cards. Ah, yes, absolutely. Moving on. Same concept with the half pearls. Look up here. That would be easy to fit flat on your project so don't fall off. Mix-ups is a little bit of everything. The pearls, the polymer clay, the sequins, etc. Pan Lock. down one more time and you have some really shiny crystals. A couple different sizes there in each pack. Doodads. Didn't know what to call them. <laughs> fly, fly away pieces, so that's what they are, doodads. They are doodads. Also Doodad in, works. Also in the clamshells. Shimmers, self-explanatory. They shimmer. So clamshells meaning we can open and close them after we're done Absolutely. using them and we don't have to worry about, oh no, I opened the package. What do I do with all the Absolutely. little bits? Sequins has been revamped. That's the new line. So you can see More than just rounds. We have all kinds of shaped sequins in there as well. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Now you're going across the board. You have flat backs, as the name indicates. Those are perfect for gluing down. No shanks, no sew through holes. All kinds of themes there. Very cool. Down all it down here too. These are all flat backs. Some of them are. Okay. Some of them are the regular inline spring items that have been released newly for Easter. Very cool. And, and then you're coming across just everyday themes, sports, baby, pets, holiday, flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On and on. I got a button for everything. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you need a button, you know where to go. <laughs> you have a specific button need. Buttons galore and more. You got it. <laughs> and then I love all these little mixtures here. These are fun. Button fusion, we call that collection because it's a little bit of all kinds of printing within and the, the color families. Flowers are so through. Value packs are just expanded versions of the theme packs. You got at least 50 pieces in all of those. Awesome. And if you just want a whole bunch of blue buttons, you got them. <laughs> you got them. Absolutely fantastic. And, more. and what are these little ones up here? These are our shaker mixes, shaker elements. Um, people have been using them in slime, believe it or not. Slime oh, pets. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could see that. That would be really good in slime. All kinds of fun stuff. What about in resin? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. and the UV resin. This would be really cute in the UV resin. Perfect. Absolutely. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Have, Have fun. Fun, fun, fun sprinkle on top. You are so good. I'm stuttering. <laughs> That's why I pay me big bucks. <laughs> Love them. Yeah. All right, so over here we have Da Vinci. We ran it. Hey, it's my elevator buddies. <laughs> Did you see they had this story? So we're on the same floor at the hotel. And yesterday we came back and it was just the craziest. Everybody was down below. We have the dumbest elevators. Well, I wouldn't call them dumb. The weirdest elevators. You have to push what floor you're on. And then you wait, it tells you go to elevator A, go to B, go to F, whatever. And then you have to wait for that elevator. So in theory, it's a great idea. But how long were we waiting? Probably 15 minutes. 15 yeah. minutes at floor 14 to try and get down. So he decided to push. We, were <laughs> <laughs> we knew a lot about each other. But he's always pushing all the buttons on the little thing. And all of a sudden, it started screaming at him. It was like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it was but that was funny. <laughs> like, what's going on? It's possessed. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, funny, funny little right. fun things you find out. Sorry. Our yeah. elevator pitch. Totally. <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about Da Vinci? Yeah, yeah sure. We are live, by the way. Oh, you are? <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So, um, Greg started this company with Da Vinci in about 2001. You want to span around? They are, we're, so we're the North American importers of Da Vinci brushes, which are made in Nuremberg, Germany. And they are a, a family run business over 100 years old, um, a brand of the century, along with Schmincke and Hanamil. And um, all of their brushes are made in their green factories in Nuremberg. Oh, so wonderful. we do not outsource anything. We're makers right. of the product. Um, yeah, Mike, do you want to add to that? <laughs> uh, well, the, um, it's... Uh, what I know is you have like a wide variety of all different kinds of brushes. So oh, yeah. if there is a need for a brush for watercolor, a need for brush Absolutely. for blending, a need a brush for wide strokes, you yes. need a long stem, like, 
flat tip brush, fan yeah. brush, that, you know, you name it, there's all different kinds of brushes. And I'm guessing all different kinds of fibers that the brushes yes. are made out of, so different hairs and yes. so forth. Fabulous. So, so many, uh, you know, three of our top lines are the synthetics that they've uh, created and took a long time to create. Like this over here. Uh, this is our latest brush and, and hey, um, let me get the camera fiber. over here. <laughs> and it's called the Colineo. And they worked on this for a very long time to create a synthetic Kalinske sample. It's an answer to oh. the, the natural hair of Kalinske. And so acrylic and oil. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. And they, before they put out the oil brush, they have the series for water brushes as well. Um, and then the Cosmotop Spin, this is another, this is like our top selling watercolor brush. Um, it is a brush that carries, absorbs a lot of water. It has five different diameters mm -hmm. of fiber, and it, uh, it, it mimics da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, theory of capillary motion and how water um, oh, flows. Right. Um, and and so, da Vinci. Yes, there you go, the namesake of the brand. Um, and it's just a phenomenal uh, watercolor brush. And of course, like you, you know, this offered in a Motler, um, you know, wonderful, phenomenal brush liner now too. Yeah, there in this display that Greg put together. <laughs> yeah. Well, and thank you. Yeah, thanks for stopping in. So, get. Yeah. We're trying to. <laughs> we are trying to. So again, go to your local art store, check out your local art, and then check out the brushes. You will not be disappointed. Thank yeah. you so much. Sure. Thank you. All right, moving on. Moving on. Do I have my water bottle? Yes. Yes, in my bag. I think I popped it in here somewhere. Okay, let's check. Right, we're doing the water bottle check just to make sure I didn't leave it somewhere stupid. Ready, ready, ready? Ha ha! <laughs> got the water bottle. All right, we got Paper Rose Studios in the house. Hello, is that okay to film? Wonderful. So, what do you guys have new? What's going on? It's new. Hey. <laughs> this is the one that we've just released last week. Wedding Blooms. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Can I just like span yep. over? All right. Yes. This is just my mic so people can hear you. Yeah, it's um, wow. just navy golds and creams. And oh my goodness, look at that. Everyone's been loving it. Look at that. Oh, those balloons. At first I thought they were blueberries, but they're balloons. They're balloons, yep. And then the other side, you scotch. Um, oh, yeah, I'm not flipping very well, am I? No, it's all good. And I tried to like make it not all wedding, so you can. Right, to get yep. the doors. The doors yeah. are gorgeous. I'm happy with that. Like, yeah. yeah. Hello. Used for lots of things. And then there's three paper collections, so you get these two as well. So you've got your textures and your basics. Oh, look at all. They're still like they're itty -bitty. little tiny. Little tiny, 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 tiny. Yeah. And then just take them out. Look yeah. at that. All the cards. <laughs> Fabulous. So this is one of the new collections. You said there yep. was more than one? Yep. So then we've got this collection here. All right, I'm just going to do a quick shout out. So we're take a look at the East, cutie Easter one. That's adorable. All right. And actually, before you do that, oh, okay. this one here is coming next week. <gasps> so it's a sneak, sneak peek. peek. <laughs> it's, going to, it's called Farmhouse Friends. Farmhouse Friends, yeah. So this Aww. is it. Um, so I'll just flip through yes. the pages. Upside down. So you can grab it. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how cute. Just... That's beautiful. Nice. Oh, and the little, yeah, the little guys. And then this one here is called Farmhouse Friends Backgrounds because we find people love backgrounds. So get all your. Little... Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like an art scene. Yeah, and then on the other side we have. Look at the bunnies. Um, yeah, just some little oh patterns of some old farmhouses. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. So cute. So, yes, and then this one we released the week before and it's been super popular. So it's called Inky Color and Inky Splash. So cool. Yeah, That's, and then we've got. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, all good. And then we've got our color parts and embossed die parts. So just a little oh bit my quirky. Gosh, look at the finish on them. Yeah, yeah so it's cool. A little shimmer, a little glitter. All our um, die cuts, and they're called embossed die cuts. So they have like this. Um, Certain spots have got, if you feel it, oh, it's yeah. got texture. And, and yeah, you can see it. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. There you go. It's lots of fun. So, yeah. 
there's lots of bits that you can pop out and make some fun cards with. Very so cool. this has been really popular. I love it. Yeah, so that's what we've got here. That's so cool. Yes. <laughs> We carry this in the store too, and I love it. And you guys yeah. are on scrapbook.com as well. Yeah. yeah. Simon so, says. Simon yeah. says. Yeah. Ones. yeah. Yeah. Go check out all those awesome places. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for Thank stopping you. by. Absolutely. Yeah. She's gonna span over under the table real fast yeah. while we're moving along. <laughs> Been a good show. Yes, it has. Yep. Wonderful. And you guys gotta check out. Look at this. <laughs> Photo up. Click. <laughs> <laughs> So cute, love it all. And obviously they have stamps and dyes and papers and just lots of wonderful, wonderful products. All right, let's do a quick span over here. Got Beetle on over here. That's us. That's you. Wonderful tools for bead making. I love your guys' tools. Look at all the different ropes. You have seen the new ones, haven't you? No, I have not. They're not even available yet. Let me Look know. Look what's in there. Nylon oh, inside the jaw. Oh, look at that. You can straighten wire with it. You can hold on to your wire so you don't get plier marks on it. When nice, you need to turn right. And twist and... What's wrong? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's my mic. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all like, ooh, ah, ooh, yeah. the new tool, ooh. <laughs> and do you know that I have a, um, a streaming show now? Oh. On Fridays, jewelry. Uh, it's it's uh, bound with uh, jewelry television. Very cool. Yeah, but what it's time? my show, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. on Friday. And so where www. are they? www.jtv.com forward slash extra. <laughs> and then go down to Create It with Wyatt. Very cool. Oh. It's been so much fun. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, thank you for the inside okay. of the new tool. Fabulous. And yeah. go check out his show. Okay. One okay. More thing. okay. Okay. So this is tungsten carbide thank tips you. in here. And if you can see in there, it's a bypass cutter. And the secret to this is it cuts memory wire. All day, all day. That's cool. Yep. As an adult. Yep. They're not in stock yet, but they will be. Very cool. There was a question? Nope. nope. Okay. No questions? They're just they're like just loving. They're it. loving. <laughs> Well, I just, hey, I saw. See you all later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks. SMLT Arts. Is it okay to film? Oh, no. sorry. Quick, quick, quick question. Like, dye snips? We do not. No dye snips, you know, like when the dyes are connected. To, to cut apart the, so for part. paper crafters. Uh, yes. So, yeah. something like this would work. Like uh, that, yeah, probably not that one. I would use this one. So this is an Italian cutter. So it's it's a little up up the ladder from this one. Um, but I think this would be the be the better one. And if you have really thicker what material stuff, this is just the Italian cutter. Okay. It's a 202S-001. Okay. <laughs> Very technical. Yep. Because we're always looking for, because they're so close together, and yes, you've got that little piece of metal in between, and right. we have to cut all the dies apart. Yeah. Well, all of these are, are pretty smooth surface. Uh, well, that one doesn't look smooth because it's got some copper stains on it. Uh, <laughs> but it, it will, this, this, this will last longer than this other one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right, that's what we needed. That's All what right. You know. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, sorry. <laughs> There's a quick question. We're live, so we're asked, trying to get questions as we're going along. Is it okay to film? Yes. Fantastic. So what is your company all about? Who's talking? I'm, okay. I, I just want to know who I'm putting the mic to. <laughs> okay, um, we're producing uh, paper uh, products, uh, the sketchbooks and uh, pads uh, for Oops. the artists. Uh, Did not expect that to come loose. I thought it was attached. I'm sorry. They, I'm just making a mess here. They're go. attacking you. They're attacking me, yes. <laughs> just wanted to open Don't one up and look at it. Look at that. It's a beautiful paper. Where are you guys based out of? Lithuania. Lithuania. I love it. I love all these international companies coming here. It's Wonderful. Look at that paper. So pretty. Those are actually all different uh, papers. Oh, they're different kinds. Yeah, oh, I just thought they were different, different colors. Di no, no. For different uh, techniques. Okay. Acid-free universal mixed media. This one is a watercolor. I'm just going to go through so you guys can see. Okay. Here we have an authentic sketchbook album. Natural brown sketchbook. So we're going to have a natural brown in there. A Bristol sketchbook. Do a tiny little bit, so it's a little Bristol. Calligraphy and lettering. A natural sketch pad. So here we have natural paper. Oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Nice and thin. Beautiful. 
Here we have a regular sketchbook, a black sketchbook, sketch authentic book. What's this? Oh, it's craft paper. Oh, it's got the lines on it. Can you guys see that? Yeah. A white sketch pad, drawing album for acrylic and oil, a gray sketch album. I got to see the gray. Ooh, that's cool. That's fun. A brown watercolor album. Okay. That is fun. Think about watercoloring on that. So cool. And then here we have our drawing pad for pencils, charcoals, and pens. I love it, you guys. And they're all like nice and concise. It's not this giant, giant book, and it's not like hard bound, so it's easy to put inside a bag. Super smart. And same. Uh, types of bindings for those you see it is uh, the cover uh, represents that it is the same right. paper inside so you can choose whatever you like so either the bigger one or the smaller one have so you've got little here. minis so it, this you color okay okay so all of these if they're orange is the mixed media sketch album right. every orange is that's smart that's just, so I'm like okay yeah I know I love this gray ones but I can have the uh, Bristol sketch pad and this size this size this size or that size or that's, even on the spiral oh there's a spiral one too yep. smart smart so I just made a mess of your whole display no, there that's such a cool idea yeah. We do have uh, some form of sketchbook with uh, space for personalization. Oh. Uh, it's uh, the sketchbook which is good, but it has a folder in it. Uh, and uh, you use it for uh, two things. Uh, one thing is uh, personalization as a cover. And another thing, when you draw your paintings, you can store them in, uh, in the file. Very cool. Yeah, now it doesn't get damaged. It's nice and protected. Or you can do like a quick on the go one. So very cool. Yeah, and you. are do you have any distributors here in the States, like places where people can pick these up yet? Or that's what you're hoping for? Uh, yes, uh, Hilton Papers. Our Hilton Papers. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Check your local art stores. Ask them for SMLT. That's pretty cool stuff. I love those. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, moving on. Be Creative Arts and Crafts Company. Lots of different pens, markers, inks. Lots of cool stuff. We're, I'm, I'm going to try and like get through a few more because what time are we at? Almost one o'clock. I know we want to get to Lindy's, so I'm going to kind of speed through a few of these. Faber Castell is in the house. Okay to film? Yeah. Wonderful. Anything new going on? Um, what you see over here, these pop-up coloring is very nice. That's all new. All these little coloring and drawing sets uh, for uh, uh, adult uh, adults, uh, so that you have a uh, you have a uh, flat stock. Uh, this is, these are very very popular. You have flat stock available here. Comes with seven dual tipped Faber Castell markers. You're going to color them, decorate them any way you want, pop them out, and then assemble them into this gifting little bouquet so that you fine. can do any way you like. Uh, nice for the uh, desk or a gifting to a to a friend or, or a relative. Awesome. Available in two different sizes. Uh, Retail on for fifteen and ten dollars. That's great. Yes, yeah, very nice. That's items. a wonderful price point. Yes. Uh, the other thing we have is brand new are these new try it boxes. It's a way for for an artist to try out new materials and get a get a oh, handle of what's out there. Look so at we that. have four different styles, two are wet mediums and two are dry mediums, contain a wide variety of Faber Castell materials and they have contain a little newsletter here that kind of tells you about the products and about the company a little bit. Yeah. Um, they retail for the, the Gold Faber retails for twenty five and the um, Faber Castell branded product uh, retails for thirty. The last thing that's really new is we have this little, uh, this. What is that little gadget? What is it? It's a little vacuum. So when you have oh! your little, when you're, when you're um, showing or you're, you're picking up scraps or right. glitter and you're Pencil brushing shavings. them off, shavings, whatever, and your artwork, how do you get them off there? Real nice and easy. It's a Faber Castell vacuum operated by two, two batteries. I uh, just turn it on, rub it on, sucks it all up. Turn it off, and your your artwork is in great, clean condition. I need Retail one of those. for fifteen. Yeah. Everybody needs one of those. That is a smart, smart thing. Man, yeah. thank you That's so new. much. Yeah, Absolutely, you. I love that. Man, so you gotta ask. This is I mean, that's why I love going into all the booths and asking that's them because sometimes I don't, I don't see the stuff that's the brand new, brand new, brand new. All right, Mungo Art and Craft. Lots of amazing products here. Tomaro. Again, I can't hit every booth if we're going to want to hit Lindy's. So I'm kind of going, and some people are already starting to pack up, unfortunately. Quran, we got Quran over here. What do we have over here? 
Let's go check this one out. This looks like a fun booth right here. Hello, we are live. Is it okay to film? Yes, yeah, fine. Can you tell us a little bit about your products? Yeah, uh, my name is Rainy Wary, and I'm a visual artist. And just last summer, I launched my own line of acrylic paints called Raw Art Paints. Um, being like a black woman artist, there's not a lot of us in the industry. And I love we're it. We're severely underrepresented. So yes. my brand kind of is like trying to push and uplift a lot of black American women artists. Um, since then, it's grown um, to not only kind of push out like diversity and representation, but like a lot of like art education and wellness. So I've been doing a lot of like paint parties back home oh, in my city. Look at yeah, I'm from Kansas City. So I'm okay. doing a lot of paint parties. Um, a lot of my kind of followers on social media are women and women of color. So I did like a whole campaign of showcasing skin tones with my paints. Because oh, a lot of people love it, you know, portrait painting. Makes and, sense. I get yeah. it. Yeah. So I've been doing a lot, which is trying to increase my outreach and visibility with the brand. Oh, so, wonderful. Can yeah. we see a little bit of your paint in action here? Is that cool? Yeah, these people coming by trying out the paints awesome. and everything. So let me try. I'm going to put this right here. Yeah. I'm going to try. I got to go with blue. <laughs> I like blue. Just to see how the paint goes in action. Yeah. All right. So, what kind of paint is this? Acrylic? It, it's acrylic paint. It is um, like a highly pigmented, I would say student grade kind of paint. Okay. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. Very cool. I use it for all of my paintings that I do. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I, I love when we get them in the bottles like this. Bottles are great because okay. it's just a nice little squeeze and then yeah, you're done. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right, we're going to move on. Love the representation. All right. <laughs> All right, here we have Majorap. Hello. What are you, we're filming, is that okay? What are you guys all about? A paint manufacturer. We are doing all the private labels for our customers. Got it. Yeah. So if you want to start a paint line, this is who you go talk to. Right. This is the manufacturing process plant. I love this. So a lot of companies, like the lady just around the corner, she's got to get her paint made from somebody. So this potentially could be somebody that would be making her paint. I don't know where she's getting her paint made from. But yeah, that's cool. I love this little display. Yeah, so from step one to step 18, <laughs> I house the paint from raw material to a finished product. That's so cool. Yes. It's like a little inside sneak peek about how the paint is made and is it a process in a facility like this. That's so, that's very cool. That's neat. I like that you brought this. This is fun. All right. Moving on. 27%. We're what? 27? All right. So we're going to just kind of do a very fast run through because I know you guys want to get to Lindy's and we're going to move along. Hello. So yeah, we're not going to be able to get to Pierce Pinnacle. Just do a quick span. Just a quick span in the booth. Just a little quickie. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. It just says to please ask. So yeah, yeah. just verifying. Okay making sure thank you all right we already talked with maker flow that has been done um cavallini art beautiful look at all the different kits and things it's very fun here we have it john bead if you are needing any kind of beads this is where you want to go john bead has so many different kinds of wonderful beads every kind of beading material supplies you name it they got it we got to check out the balloon guys because this is just the best thing I loved it. If you saw my reel from a couple of days ago, this is so, look, look at these. These are all different fun kits. Just look at these. Aren't these amazing? Like, they're just so cool. And then the bubble, all the balloons. This is so much fun here. So these are a lots of amazing art kits. This is Fabric Editions, and they have a ton, a ton of different art kits that you can purchase. And I mean, just see, you can see all the amazing art kits behind here. So they have crochet, they have felt, there's embroidery, there's uh, felting. Yeah, it's totally just go to the booth. It's fine. So just, you know, needlepoint, you know, oh, look there, there's the yarn again. There's the, wow. I'm calling it right there. Do you see yep. it? No, that's actually the, the one where you push into it. That's not the hook, hook, to, anyway. Obviously, they also have fabric, fabric, but yeah, the kits are the big thing right now. Craft away your imagination. So there we go. I love the bright and cheeriness of this booth. It is just so much fun. So yeah, go check them out. Fabric Editions. All right, we've already done Uniquely Creative because I demoed there, and we did a booth tour just with Uniquely Creative. So Jacquard was over here. 
If you guys saw that, we were having fun with uh, Jacquard and their paint. That was hilarious. We had so much fun. Okay, so zebra pens. Wonderful, wonderful zebra pens. Retractable markers. They are so much fun. Their midliners are phenomenal. That's probably their number one product is their midliners, and they are great. So, so, so much fun. So, here are the midliners. A wonderful pen mar or marker. They're just, they're really, really good marker. And they have a ton of different colors. Great, great pens. I love those midliners. They're phenomenal. <laughs> Anything new this year? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can we, can we get a little sneaky peeky about what's new? I always love to know what's new. And we're filming. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. Come on in. All right. I'm going to put this here because yeah. that's my mic. Oh, so oh. my liner mix, it's not available until the summer. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Two tone my goodness. my liner. Pump yeah. action. So press it in some more so you get the blue out. Yeah, it's kind of going in. You guys see that? Yep. That is cool. That is so much oh fun. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. How Six many different, different colors. Six different colors. And so, I'm guessing it's going to be in one pack. So it's two sets or open stock. Oh, very cool. And the sets are going to somewhat look like this. Oh, okay, okay. Get it. So you can get an idea for the colors. Oh, that's, I got mic on me, so this is the mic for okay. you. Okay. All right, I got myself hooked up. That's cool. That is so neat. That is loving the dual tones on those. Such a neat idea. So when would that be available? You summer. Said? This summer. That's what we're shooting for. Right, right. Very we good. never know. Yeah, yeah. All things could happen. All things so can happen. We're hoping to be, I'm going to say, I like to say, we should be in the stores for back to school. Right, okay. And that. you can get them as singles? Yes, depending on the retailers. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then. So, oh, there's more. Sarasa Vintage. Okay. In 12 different colors. If you're familiar with the regular Sarasa, yeah. this is just vintage yeah. colors. The barrels match the ink. I love that. That way I'm not having to hunt for what color it is that I want. It's just right there. See, and this is my favorite brand, and I'm such a pin stop. Yeah. I love it. Beautiful. These. And how many different colors are 12. Okay. And uh, it's 10, sorry. Oh, 10. Okay. Yep. So here we can see what it looks like. Love that. Vintage colors. There's been a lot of like the vintage, it's either neon or vintage. Those are the two big color booms that are happening right now. Junk journals, so these are perfect yes. yeah. to make and draw. Or just like in your planners or just doodling. There we go. Didn't yeah. want to have it yeah. Cool. Anything else? Those are the two newest items. Very cool. I don't know what else you guys haven't seen, like click art. Blend. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, you guys are going to be a go wild, right? Yes. Sweet, so am I. <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. A retractable pen. Click art. Retractable marker. Available in 36 different colors. Oh, they man. do not dry out. I love that. They're loving that. Yeah. Very cool. And how they come as sets? Individual, Individual. and sets. There it is, click art. So you can't get all 24. You said there's 36, 36 though, right? Okay. So which colors are not in the 24? Like which other 12 pack would I need to pick up? Okay. So that would cover that would cover everything. That would cover the full range. The full range. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. I'll give that back to you. Or you can get this one too. Oh, that's cute. A little carry case. Oops. Okay, pretend that didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> it's like a little lunch. Oh my god. Oh. It's like the crayons. Like you open the box yep. of crayons. Is that the idea? It's smart. Look at that. Oh, what's with the... That's oh, that's the, just for that's shipping purposes. Oh, sorry, I popped You're that fine. off. Okay. You do it all day long. <laughs> uh, I'm like, if I really want to have fun, I'll shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do it. All right. Because <laughs> you got to go out and then come back in. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, that God. is so much fun. That's cute. I love this. This yeah. is a cutie little thing. I'm going to have to start ordering now. <laughs> all right, thank you so You're much. Welcome. I totally appreciate it. So many cute pens. You gotta hit zebra because zebra's awesome. Zebra rocks. All right. So we've talked to Paint Puck already. So where are they before we run out of battery juice and run out of time? Let's hit the next one over and down. So here is the Diamond Art Club. It's similar. It's it's not Diamond Dots. It's different. It's Diamond Dot Club. So same concept, but just a different brand. Just like how there's many different brands of 
uh, paint. There's also going to be many different brands for this kind of technology. All right. Hello. Can't get to everybody, but I know everybody wants. We did Ranger already, which is right here. So that has been done. So we already went through Ranger. So where is it? Okay, we're gonna go to Lindy's. Was there any, have they shouted out anybody else? They're like, please stop. Hello. Afternoon. Sorry, what now? One more over, I think it was 800 you told me. 800, okay, let's go to 800. The all in crate. Everybody's buzzing about your washi tape. I've heard so many good things about it. So I'm gonna keep hearing about it. Guys, you gotta watch day one video their new washi tape. You got to go back. I'm just it's amazing. I'm not going to give you any more hints then. It's brand new and it is fantastic. Go check that out. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. We already did Katie Sue. We already did Ampersand and Stone Ground. We did Copic, but we didn't go that way because we started here. So we got to keep moving along. So I do, I have to do a quick drop into Dynasty because they are fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I have been using their brushes for a very long time and they are wonderful. They have a little powwow snack, but oh my gosh, just look. Look at that beautiful mermaid. Isn't that gorgeous? That mermaid is on point. Oh, it looks like it's still wet. This is the bomb though. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. The shoes are awesome. Yes, all the painting on the shoes. There's so many. Everybody was given. I, I didn't do this one, but I know a lot of people were given shoes, or they brought shoes in that they had painted, and all the different types of different brushes and stuff. I'm not gonna bomb your lunch, but hello. We're just doing a quick span of all the amazing brushes because you know how much I love your brushes. Hi. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch. Um, Fabulous brushes. You guys love your brushes. Like you got to check out the Dynasty brush, FM brushes. Same thing. Uh, yeah. Go check out your local artist, art retailer store, art supply store. Great, great brushes. A brush for every need. All right, and you can just see here, all the different ones. So we have Stencil Pro, Water Lily, Interbro, uh, Orange Ice, Evo Art, Faux Stable, Interlock, Eye of the Tiger, Kaleo, Mastodon, Gold Stag, Blue Ice, and, and there's two more, hang on. Kids Dynasty Stubby Brush and Faux Camel. This one is one of my favorite stencil brushes. I love this stencil brush. It's nice. It's a good one. Yep. Oh, Lindy's. Here we go. Lindy, Lindy, Lindy. Hello, hello. Oh, everybody's eating. I'm so sorry. No. I'm low on battery and I know we're towards the end, but everybody's been saying, please come here. We have to have you. And we are live right now. Is it okay? Is it all right? I know. I should have precursed that. It, we all have to eat. I've been drinking my my water as we've been going along, but they absolutely wanted to see you guys in action before we finished and everybody wrapped up from today. This is just a mic so people can hear you. You can either clip it or I can set it down. Yep, either is fine. All right, we're going to put this right here then. All right, take it away. Let's go. So thank you so much for coming to see Lindy's Gang uh, here at New Orleans. Yes. Having so much fun. And what we've got is some new shakers at the moment, and this is one of our flat sets and it's in a new shaker bottle. So this one is called Impressionist Ink and it's our dye ink powder. So what's in the bottle is a whole lot of individual particles so you get that explosion of color if you use it one way and then if you mix it all together and use it with water, you'll get a, a consistent, beautiful, constant color. So I'm gonna show you the one that everybody is wowed by. All right. And that is simply spritzing a little bit of water on some cardstock. Please excuse my dirty craft mat. I haven't cleaned it in a while. Uh, you know what? We're in an art We're shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> so the wonderful thing about the new bottle is it's got a little security cap so it doesn't make a mess when it's in nice. shipping. Nice, so nice, nice. really good. And you can just flip it up and use it as a shaker because it's got all the little holes ready to go. We tell people to add it like it's chili powder. Okay. So if you're <clears throat> like me, it's a little bit. If you're Texan, it might be a lot. Um, <laughs> Texan. <but> <laughs> well, I live so, there now. <laughs> so then the other thing you can do is also just flip it off really simply if you want to dip the brush straight in. So you've got a few different things that you can do with it. And the powder in the jar is not an indication of what you'll see on your project. Okay. So the minute you get it, swatch it so that you know what it looks like. I like to put my swatches on the lid. Oh, we're getting a little sneak peek. No, no, no. That's awesome. That's exactly what we want. So just adding it like it's chili powder, just a tiny little oh bit. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna 
going to have this right next to your mouth. They can hear you over there, so we hold it close. All right. So adding just a tiny little bit. If it's not got enough sort of blooming for you, add a little bit more water. And you can see all the individual colors that make up the powder. So that is step one of this. So I'm going to dry it. Is that okay yeah, with yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, I'll hold it. It so has a cool effect. If I'm at home, we leave it to air dry mm. because you get more of those little color blooms. The heat tool is a little aggressive and it blends it a little bit more. But that's kind of a cool effect too. I guess yeah, it depends absolutely. on what you want. Absolutely. All depends on the kind of look that you're wanting. Yeah. How many different colors are in this particular so in this, bottle? In this pack? Yeah. Oh, in how many well, like just, in the like bottle? This, yeah, so just this oh, one. Wow. How many colors make up black, Tracy? Yeah. A lot. A lot. Okay. I mean, but you can see it. There's a lot of different colors yeah. in here. I'm so seeing pinks and greens pinks, and blues. There's reds, and greens, blues, um, yellows. And depending on how they mix with each other, you'll get ochres, turquoise, lots of different effects here. Very cool. So almost done, almost done. Now being a flat, this one doesn't have any shimmer, but then we've got our secret weapon to add on top of it. Ooh. It's always that last little bit that takes the longest. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get yep. it. Yep. So I'll just look, I mean, look over here. Yep. Got some, some done samples. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. In including this one. Oh my goodness. So we haven't done the, the, the shimmer, shimmer, shimmer yet. Nope, nope. But we're going to do that. Yep. All right. So this one's just the two colors, and I'm about to add our secret weapon, and that's fairy fluff. Fairy fluff. Yep. Not fairy floss. Um, fairy no, fluff. Fairy fluff. Um, and this is one of our sprays and they come dry so it's just a dry powder in the bottom and you add water up to the fill line, just warm water. That way it doesn't explode in transit. Tiffany Solario says hi. Mm. <laughs> hi. Hey Tiffany. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. <laughs> so this is where it gets super fun and you add this over the top. Now Martina likes to do one spray so it's very elegant mm. and you've just missed her. Yeah. I like amping it up so I'm a three spray girl. <laughs> So one more for good luck. <laughs> and three, and four. Four, four, five. Five. A bit more. Ten. And then drying again. And you'll notice that it's reactivated a little bit of the color underneath. So you get a bit more of that blending going on. Sometimes you'll end up with new colors. So somebody's saying, so that originally, they're saying, how does it compare to Tim Holtz spray? But it's not a spray, it's a powder. It's a powder. Yeah, except for this last bit of it's fairy fluff. Yeah. Right. So totally it's a totally different, very, very different. product. Yeah. But yeah. it does look lovely. Yeah, even the sprays are different. But this one also works beautifully over your distressings. Mm. So whether it's the oxides or the inks, just gives them a whole different look. And I love using it through a stencil. So you get the sparkly stencil image. Everybody's like, ooh, yes. ah, ooh. And, and this is how it turns out when you just add the fairy fluff over the top. So I don't know if that's catching it. That, the oh, yeah, the oh, yeah, yeah. Catching it. Yep. yep. You're getting and it. So go back, can, a little bit, go back and forth a few more times because we're like, ooh, <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> so if you're looking ah. for a really smooth effect, add water and then spray into it and it will sort of migrate across the project but if you'd like something a little bit more spotty just spray it on like I've done or you can flick it on by just taking the nozzle out of the product and tapping it onto the project and you can get spots so so where can you get super it versatile. how can people you pick can it get up it from lindystampgang.com and we're online and we ship to wholesalers or if you're a craft store you can buy it through notions in the states and we do free shipping if you're in the US and you're a craft store. Oh. Um, are you like at scrapbook.com? Are you at Simon's Stamp? We are at Simon's Stamp. Are we at scrapbook.com? Yes. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I know like some people so, like, to, like to put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you yeah. know. So. Yeah. yeah. Very so, cool. Thank you very much for coming to see us. So there, I'm also seeing, so here we have some other sprays, glitz sprays, similar to the candy floss. Similar to the fairy floss? Fairy floss, yes. sorry. So just add water, but these are different colors. Okay. So you'll have some golds and some of them are green or pink or purple. Very cool. Yep. Very cool. And so if it's a glitz spritz, it's just got the shimmer. Mm -hmm. If it's a starburst spray, it has ink in there. So the dye ink powder plus shimmer. 
If it's a flat Fabio, it's just the dye ink powder, so no shimmer. And we have Moon Shadow Mists, which all have a walnut ink base. Okay. So if you're a vintage fan, it's a brown base, a base in varying tones with gorgeous shimmer. So amazing for antique projects and um, making anything look old world. Very cool. Just so explain this real quick because we sell these on store. Yep. It comes in a powder. Comes in a powder. All right. So you can see it back here. So there's a tiny little bit of powder in the bottle. And depending on the strength of color we're trying to make, the powder that's in the bottle will vary. So it's not done by weight, it's done by the color that you get at the end. So once you get it home, take the lid off. I like to fill mine halfway with warm tap water. Let it sit. They were doing it. There was a stamping thing going around. We could go around to all the new booths, and you could get a stamp, and then you put it in for the drawing. And they won a hotel for the next Mantis. So, they're good. Anyway, so that's what they're doing. So, anyway, all right, back to the fun stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Because I didn't win, so no, I didn't even finish it. I'll see you. <laughs> um, so you fill it halfway with warm water. Let it sit for ten minutes, so that the dye ink activates and dissolves. And don't shake it. Don't shake it yet. Oh, I like to uh, stir mine with a paintbrush. I've got an old paintbrush I use, just give it a swirl. Then fill it up to the fill line with more warm water, then put the lid on. But before I put the lid on, I check to see if there's any of the powder stuck in the little sprayer tube. I rinse that out first, because that's where you can get the clogs. And then but every warm time water you use is it, key. warm water is key. Okay. Helps dissolve all of the dye powder beautifully. And then every time you use it, give it a little swirl. And they don't clog. But if you don't use the warm water, they will clog. Yes, because the right, say that again to make sure on cam. So yes, if you don't use the warm water, they will clog. So do exactly what the instructions say, mm -hmm. because it makes a difference. It I does. promise. Absolutely. <laughs> I promise. Absolutely. You yeah, heard it from here, folks. Yep. <laughs> we yep. use a lot of these in the store. We sell a lot of these, and we tell them yes. you must follow the instructions. Yes. Yes. So. But if you do happen to get a clog, best tip ever. Yeah. You can take it apart. So you can take the little tail Whoops. off. Very Sorry, good. Not, you're a little fine, bit of very fluff for everybody. Yeah. Hey, it's on the mic. <laughs> Woo! Sparkly. Pop this under warm water and let it sit for 10 minutes and then spray it while it's underwater. Okay. So the water goes all the way through. Once it's spraying again, put it back together and keep going. Again, warm water is key. Warm water is key. Yeah. It's your friend. It is. Can I'm loving that. the background. Did you guys see the background they have over here? Look Beautifully at this. Beautifully done by one it of our designers. Gorgeous. I love that. And so just the names is a every picture, Teal's was it? Teal's a story. Teal, Teal's a story. Portrait blazer. Blue. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. You're so awesome. Yep. Yep. We have Alive and Kisses. Yep. The best one for Vincent Van Gogh. Ears looking at you. All. Ears looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go through all of them because they're hilarious. I want to. I want to know them all. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna repeat. This is, actually, this is the lady who makes all the dyes. Make sure we can get this on camera. There we go. You can hold it. I there am you know. the color lady. Namer. There you go. Yeah. couple crimson. Not in a vermilion years. <laughs> Cafe Terrace Tangerine, which well, is a Vincent. We've just received notice. Gustav's Gold. Gustav's Gold. Roll in the hay. Haystacks, Vince Van Gogh. Is that going to be obnoxious? No, they can hear you over there. Bring the house down, Brown. Alive and kissing couple. Here's looking at you, Olive. Take it or leave it. Every picture teals a story. Portrait blazer blue. Head in the clods, because it's Claude Monet. Uh, water lilies, lavender, because it's Monet that does the water lilies. Dust work was a Klimt. And Impressionist ink. So those are our flat, the three different five packs that we have that are all based on the masters. Vincent Van Gogh, Claude Monet, and Gustav Klimt. I love so. it, yes. No, that's great. That's so much fun. I love that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, no, I love it. But that's what makes it more like it's just it's part of what makes it amazing. <laughs> I think this is the most they put the loudspeaker on in the last three days. Of course. So, and yep. of course, right when I'm here. Yep. Go figure. <laughs> 
All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank I truly you so appreciate much. it. It's been lovely to have you. <laughs> thank thank you. you. All right. May I take a sticker? Of course. Thank yes. you. Would you like a catalog as well so that you can see what all of the colors are? Sure. I'm going to take a couple stickers. Yes, please do. And will you get me one for the store, please? There we go. Take one of these with you. Oh, thank yeah, you. So you can have a Sorry, I'm like a kidney candy star. Oh, it's okay. I've been doing the same thing. <laughs> Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. <laughs> thank you so Enjoy. much. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Oh, and we're going to put the catalog on here too. Don't let me forget to give you a catalog. <laughs> All right, so what is our time and what is our battery life? 18. 18, and what is our time? 1.30. All right, we're going to go probably to about 5% because that's about all we're going to have time and we're probably going to run out and I'm guessing we're going to have some tear down. But let's go around. We have RNF paints. This is the encaustic paints. If you've ever played with encaustic paints, they have oil stick, encaustic, that's with heat. So it's a totally different kind of paint. So this is the wax sticks. But encaustic paint, we played with this last year. It's um, it's wax paint that you have to heat up and then paint with. Hi. Are you doing a little something right here they can show us for a couple seconds? Just like two minutes. Is that cool? Yeah. You got it out? Yeah. I mean, I'm just messing around. I love messing around. Yeah. Messing around's great. Yeah. Are you familiar? Well, for those that aren't, because yeah. we're going, we're streaming, we're sorry, streaming live right now. So for oh, those really? that have okay. no idea what this is, give us the complete rundown or like a quickie five-minute pitch. Okay, you got that? Uh, the pigment stick is um, oil paint in stick form. Uh, it's linseed oil, pigment, and natural waxes. And the beauty of the pigment stick is that you can use it directly, right away. You don't need tools to use it. Um, and all the same um, techniques, mediums, uh, that you would use with tube oil apply to the pigment stick. Except this is very direct and um, very fluid. You can do printmaking with it. Um, you can incorporate tools. I was painting earlier today because uh, it got kind of quiet. So <laughs> hey, now I get it. So there you go. You can see it's super versatile and um, yeah. That's cool. And how yeah. many different colors does it come in? We have 103 colors plus two colorless blending mediums. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. And so this is our colors right here. Yeah. These are our wall. colors. Yep. Yeah. Let's and just take a quick span of what the colors look like, if you don't mind. And we also have um, three different sizes in this, oh, nice. in this line. Uh, this is the pigment stick, and this is the 38 mil, the 100 mil, and then we have a giant 188 mil. For those really industrious yeah, paint Yeah, those types. painters that really, you know, huge canvases. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You nailed that. Thank you. <laughs> Been working on it all week, right? <laughs> All right, so here we have a Pepio. Oh, she's still over there. <laughs> they had stickers. All right, so here we have Pepio. I didn't wear my jacket today, but that was the paint that I used when, and I didn't. I got this as a reel, so it's going to be going up as a reel. It's a paint that I used when I uh, was in the Sensil One. They have a paint that can go onto fabric, and then you heat set it with an iron. But they have a huge range of amazing paints, so. Is it okay that we come in for a few minutes? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're live streaming. Is that cool? Yes. Can you give us a little bit of rundown? Anything? What are you guys playing with over here? These oh. are um, no, 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 no. these are new acrylics. So these are uh, eco designed acrylics. Okay. So um, I'll show you this too. It, this one's already kind of dried, but they're really pretty. I love yes. them. So the, the acrylics are very uh, highly loaded in pigments, very, very um, high viscosity. So when you move them, you can see how um, they're, they're dimensional, but they also keep the, uh, the traces of the painting tools. Um, very vivid colors. 50% of the uh, colors, there's 48 colors, 50% are single pigments. Mm. So when you mix the colors, you get really nice bright colors. You don't get that muddiness of when too many pigments are in the colors. But what's really cool about these colors, beyond that they're exceptionally bright and thick and pigmented, is that they come in this cardboard packaging. Nice. So 60% less plastic in the tube. 
and we have a small rear cap, so we're also reducing plastic with the cap, and the paint is made with a 100% recycled binder. Nice. So we're, and this is the direction Pebio is taking. From now on, everything we create will have that sustainability. See, that's the big thing. Everybody's kind of hitting that sustainability route, and I love yeah. that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. I love. And I'm just seeing that the, already the change. Like, look how much different yes. the product line is looking compared to. Right. Yeah. I mean, our, our our displays have to be sustainable. Everything is going in that direction. Beautiful. And you know what's really cool is Pebio is a hundred more than a hundred year old company. Yeah. Oh we were gosh. the first to put so acrylics in plastic tubes. And now we're the first to take it out. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Sign of the change. And I'm loving every part of it. How many colors are there? 48. 48. 48 colors. And where can they, local art stores, Jerry's Artorama, yep. Blick. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Blick, uh, Michaels. Okay. Uh, working on with on Jerry's. Working, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. And the paints that you were using on your jacket. Yes, and I was using the paint that we were putting on the fabric and then heat setting in Stencil One. So I was demoing okay, over there so with Okay, so you them. were with Ed. Yeah, so I was okay. over with Ed. Okay, so yes, we were playing with that. That was the set of color. How set many of, color. of those colors are there for that? Do you know, Pam? How many? The set of color. How many colors? There's many different types. There's the transparent type. And right. Over 20? Oh, definitely. Okay. At so, least yeah. 40 colors. Okay, so at least 40. So And they come in transparent and they come in opaque. Transparent and opaque. We were playing with the opaque. So, because right. we wanted to show on the denim. So right. That's, that's very cool. And with the transparent, you can also do tie wrap. Ah. And you can also do sun printing. Oh, cool. Yeah, so all that is uh, explained. And, um, on and you can find, website. obviously, a lot of this stuff online, but I'm loving the new direction of this. This is fabulous. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate pleasure. it. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. All right. Got to play with them. What? Oh, sure. May I have one? Thank you. I love, my pen. I love having these notepads. And look, it's gridded. This one's mine. <laughs> Not giving this one away. All right. Arteza and Laura, that we might get in pretty close because we're, yeah. Oh, they're already starting to pack up. No, no. Hi. No, hi. How are you? I am good. Okay. Hello, hello. I know I'm kind of towards the no, end. You're good. Let me get everything out of the way. I took the lights down now. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Yes, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. We partnered with them. I know. So let's pause and get everything stuck in the back. Hey. Isn't that nice? Awesome. Do you need me to come back in like two minutes? No, okay. Thank we're just you. gonna we're gonna hang out in the booth because he doesn't want me leaving. And they've got stickers. Art isn't artificial. There we go. Real art. Real art isn't artificial. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm taking some stickers. Real art. Well, you know about a real art campaign, right? No. Uh, we're ta art. we're live, by the way. Can we talk? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so our real art um, campaign is um, our fight against AI okay. uh, and AI and art. It all started when there was uh, an art piece that actually won an art competition uh, that was completely AI. Wow. And we sat back and we said, you know, is that really the right thing to do? It's something that really bothered us. So we created this uh, real art protect human artists because we know that real art comes from the heart and comes from the hands. So that's uh, the, the foundation of the real art is an artificial campaign. Uh, we actually have a coalition. Um, which I can share a link with you. Uh, sure, we'll shout it out. What is I it? don't have the link. You don't handy. have the link. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 but fine. if you scan this barcode, I don't know if that will work. Well, we could try. We could try. Could we get nice and close? Okay. You're gonna hold it. Okay. She'll there hold it go. for me. Fantastic. So, um, and that's the you know the coalition um, chip. So yeah. Okay. It's really cool. Is it so kind of really showing proud up? Of what we're doing. Giving it long enough for you guys so you can like pause the video on replay, not now, on replay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So what do we have that's so new and fun? Good for you. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Really proud of the work we're doing. So it's fabulous. Good stuff. Um, so new and exciting. Absolutely. Well, so we always we, want to know those new and exciting. Right? We always. So we have a lot of new kids that actually we just brought back from the new product uh, showcase. section, the new product showcase already. Fabulous. Um, yeah, there's a video coming out on you. that later, so you'll be part of that one. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so what I'll feature then is um, our heavy body acrylic, and uh, you can actually see the sample and see how beautifully Look it builds how and how heavy, that is. how well it layers. That's 
um, and that you can really get great, you know, context and texture mm -hmm. with that product. Um, what we've tried to do differently as we kind of looked at our mixing sets and our color mixing sets is we've always said, you know, are we giving enough white and black for enough tint and shade? Never. So we've actually <laughs> done, right? So we've doubled the ML on the white and the black. Thank you. you. Four core colors and then double the amount of white and black um, to really go through with your tint and shade and really be able to build that and flesh that out and see what it's going to look like. Um, and of course there will be a palette, a color palette inside. Um, so that you can continue to do that. That's going to come in a 6, an 8, and an 18. Um, of course, super high quality, very affordable pricing, very, very important. So just take a look at that. Double the size. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Awesome. The other item that we're really proud of this year is our encaustic effects. So we know encaustic painting is a lot of fun. We know it's a big trend that's really building. It's the wax that you have to melt and then you paint with the melted wax, which you have to have a heat source to do that. So right. no heat? No heat, right? We tell people you don't have to dexterize your entire room. You can <laughs> keep the plastic don't put away. Yourself. You're not gonna scare the family. Um, but the encaustic effect is a really great composition, um, which gives you that translucent, translucent effect as well as that uh, you can build with it and layer with it. Again, this is gonna be our color mixing set, so you're gonna get a double-sized white with your core colors so that you can create that tint and that shade that you're really looking for. That's gonna come in two sets, nice. um, the color mixing and then essential uh, colors as well. Cool. Awesome. Um, texture paint set was kind of one of our first kits that we launched last year. Since then, we have launched two more kits. One of them I have here, and I, w I hope you guys can see the texture of this panel, but go ahead and feel it. It's actually a brick wall texture. Yeah. And this is a desktop uh, muralist set. So it's going to come with a variety of different paints, markers. Um, it's going to come with everything you need inside the box. Let me see if I can find the box. Uh, the box is coming to me right now. <laughs> um, Hurry, go get it. <laughs> as well as with this stand. Oh, nice. Now, so you can stand, display your art. Right. You can display it actually on your desktop. We know a lot of people are working from home. Um, and this is actually what the box looks like. That's so cool. Look at that. That's cool. And then here's everything that it comes with. Look at all the stuff. So you can really see that brick wall texture. And we left the base plain wood because we want you to be able to pick what color it should be. Makes sense. We felt yeah. like that was the right choice. So you could leave it plain or you can even paint that and decorate that besides just like exactly. a black. Make it part Very of your cool. wall. Make it part of your piece. I'm going to put that here for lack of a better place to put that. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. The next one that we have is our layered clear panel uh, painting set. So this is four acrylic panels that layer in the base itself, and oh. you can create that, <laughs> right? You can create that we dimension. Just like, Ooh, ah. It's really exciting. Um, one of our internal artists actually did this piece. Yeah. Um, and we know we did have it out. It was actually in the new products. Right. So, um, but it's four different panels where you can really kind of build that layering and show the dimension of the artwork. Cool. Now, because you're only getting four panels and we are giving you paint, markers, brushes, you're getting everything you need. But one of the things we were really mindful of is you're only getting four panels. So you've got one shot and some of us aren't as great freehand and don't always get it right the first time. I, I would do it and be like, D -d 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 the expletive is coming out of my mouth because I'm like, no, it would be me. So what we've done is we've actually included a dry erase marker. Yeah so that you can go ahead, you can sketch out what you want to do on the front, retrace it on the back. And then wipe it off. And then wipe it off when you're done. And you're going to get that perfect piece that you're really shooting See, for. See, they're thinking, they're We're thinking. We're super excited about that it. That is awesome. So, um, and both of these are coming to retail uh, and coming to market uh, Q4. So, so hmm? Q, yeah, quarter four, just in case, so that we're talking about October, November, December. Yes, and then where is it available? Uh, we're waiting to confirm with certain retailers. Once we have that confirmed, I'll absolutely email you and share with you. Okay, Arteza.com? Uh, actually, Arteza.com uh, is shifting a little bit. Okay. Uh, we have chosen to um, pivot our business model okay. um, and no longer be a D2C player. Okay. Uh, we are more so becoming a lot like our traditional partners uh, where we are selling to retail uh, and no longer going to be available as a third party player in the marketplaces nor as um, nor on Amazon. So Amazon is now our business partner. 
Amazon is our seller, Joanne, Michael, Walmart, those are our traditional sellers. And we're of course partnering with our independent retailers as well. Love that, I love that. So get them in your store. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love the kits. I love the kits. Yes. Awesome. That's what I'm at. I'm pointing at you. Not yeah. the kids, but, okay, but if you're watching them, if you have a store, get them in your store. Because these are, kits are so much fun because you feel like you can open it up and you're not going, what do I need? Where do I need to go? What do I need to grab? It's all right there. And it's a chance to play with something. Maybe you've not done that technique before. So it's super smart. I love this idea. It's a lot of fun. You know, yeah. what we're Especially when to it do. seems scary, like encaustic. I have no idea what to do or I've never done the layers. Sorry, I was interrupting you. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> you know, it's about getting, bringing new people in. Um, it's about engaging new artists. It's about getting them to try something new. They don't know where to start. So something like the desktop muralist said, it has the brushes, it has the paint, it has everything they need to get started. Yeah. And ultimately what it's going to do once they're engaged and once they're excited about doing their own art, they're just going to come back and start buying more. So, it's a gateway drug. It's a gateway. You know, it's how we're going to get you started. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, so super excited about those sets. Of course, we're continuing to develop in um, our metallic. So our metallic acrylic, our gouache, uh, metallic gouache, as well as the uh, as well as the jelly tubs. And of course, we try and um, identify sustainable paths. So our jelly tubs come in um, a metal saint, a metal box mm -hmm. um, that's reusable. Do you have that to show? I don't have oh, that to show right now. Walmart? I know. Only don't so many. Only see. so many shelf spaces. So. All right. Well, can, you, can we do a little look yeah, around we can here? Do a little more. Awesome. Um, yeah, absolutely. We're also launching an air dry uh, clay mega set, I variety love of different air colors. Dry clay. Um, one of the products I'm super excited about, actually, is the Luminous Glow in the Dark Powder. You can mix it with resin, clay, paint, water, and it's going to give you that glow in the dark shine and that glow in the dark feel. So cool. Continuing. I, to, oh, yeah, 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 no, no. keep going, keep going. Continuing to expand on our um, polymer clay, we are also selling some essential colors and refill. Um, you know, our polymer clay is one of our most popular sellers. Um, our Art Passport, which is part of our creative Kickstarter set. Um, the next version of that was the Clay Masters. That was actually a new product uh, segment as well. Um, this is a creative journey, amazing for new artists and for new creators who are first getting going. It's a three-stage process where within each box... Oh! Super high-end packaging, super fun packaging, nice magnetic reusable oh, boxes. Oh, right, 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 right. In each box, you're going to get your medium. This one comes with a pencil case. It also comes with your art passport book. So multimedia pages, um, 22, lays flat. So when you're doing oh, your work, nice. it's super easy, yes. super uh, to use. It's going to come with instructions. It's going to take you on a guided journey all through it, through all three boxes. And all three boxes have different mediums. And super cool, and I hope it's out, boom, is our inspiration scratch tickets. Oh, fun. So you're sitting there, you're not sure what to draw next. You scratch off a ticket, it's gonna give you an idea. This one tells you to close your eyes, remember a time that you oh, were yeah. LOL, and uh, open your eyes and start drawing. So awesome. we're super excited about it. That is fun, and so it just keeps... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, my son would love that because he always, like, he's wanting to get better and better into all of his drawing and his coloring. And then the next thing is he gets all of his stuff out. Well, mom, what should I draw? Mom, what do I, what do I, give, give me something. And I start throwing things out. Yeah. Scratch a ticket. That's and great. you know what? It's, it's going to inspire you. You're going to be able to get creative. It's going to get those That's creative fun. juices flowing. So we're really excited about That's it. That's super smart. I and love this that. is going to take you through an entire journey. as I Yeah. Said. Well, and it's a great storage case after the fact too. I love the boxes because you can stack them. They're magnetic. Magnetic little clips. Um, so from real brush pens to water, uh, watercolor and acrylic as well in, the, in here. Oh, very cool. So, and it's not going to be a one day thing. It's yeah, going to be, uh, gonna it's going to, it's going to take you some time to work through it it'll be super right. exciting and then you have some amazing products when you're done going through that you can then use to go to the next level yeah the floss the floss so we have two sets of floss we have the 144 as well as the 80. um beautiful beautiful colors um that really like stand out um simple easy to use available all over this one's 14 colors and this one is 36 colors 
35. Oh, 35. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. You're making me nervous. <laughs> you know, showing on cards now is, is huge. Yes. All the dyes. Oh, yeah. Have. Lots of, yeah. And what I really love is actually our embroidery set, uh, the accessory set, which oh. I think is a really great complement to everything. It comes with everything you need from the scissors to the needles, um, the threading pin. Um, oh, that's a nice one. Super comprehensive. And I'll tell you what, it's just such a beautiful little case. Oh. Nice. So super easy. Out of this too. Nah. <laughs> I love it. Fabulous. Tell them you saw it here. <laughs> okay, on the um, embroidery floss, is it cotton? Is it it's cotton? It's cotton. cotton. Yeah, 100 percent cotton. So it's right there. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. Is there anything on the back side? Uh, there's nothing on the back uh, side. on the back side. You don't want anything getting snagged, huh? No, we don't want to listen. It's just our, you know. <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear our you. Our graphics and our beautiful multimedia. No, I love it. Like rotating mats. That so is something smart. different about this one um, compared to a lot of the others that you'll see out on the market. Actually, is that it has this little locking mechanism. So we know one of the pain points for a lot of creators is as you're doing it and as you're kind of creating those little turns, sometimes that mat will slip a little bit as you're cutting and you don't get the exact cut you need. Right. So what we've created is a little locking mechanism to hold the pad in place, as well as on the back, it has the pads on there to kind of hold it down so that it's not going to shift and you're going to get those perfect and exact cuts every time. That's awesome. Front door. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really smart. I love that because I don't know how many times I've like gone to cut felt or whatever it is in the rotary. I'm like, that, 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 that. oh yeah, expletives galore. And now one <laughs> of my real favorites is the fold and stow mat. So this is really cool. Let me open this up again. There we go. I feel like you've done this a few times. Just a few. It's been an amazing show here at Nancy Creative Nation 2024. So we're super excited. A lot of people hoping to partner and you know bring some new products in. Fabulous. So this Seattle is next year. Seattle next year. I'll give you guys more hints about Seattle next year. I love <laughs> Se I love Seattle next year because like, <laughs> I can get lost in Seattle very very easily. Yes 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 yes. Um, so this again is a self healing full size mat. Oh my goodness. That pulls out. Gives you all the space and all the room you need. Look at that. Also, what you'll find inside is an ironing pad that That's is actually smart. detachable. Yeah. But also just kind of folds out. Look at the tool. As well as multiple measuring tools and a measuring tape. So great for all of your vinyl needs, great for all of your t-shirt needs, your uh, everything that you need to do I'll is going to be all comprehensive. <laughs> yeah. What I love most about this though is when you're done and you're ready to run, you close it up, you take the handle and you go. Yeah. So, so easy. storage is easy as well, not having all this stuff that you have to leave out because you know for us, storage is a bear. Trying to make it simple. Yeah. Trying to make it just where you can do what you want. You can go. You're right, on right. the run. Because you know what? We're not always crafting at home. Sometimes we're crafting not on the run, but like at a friend's house or at a Retreats. studio. Yeah. Retreats all the time. Or right? your crafting space is so small, you don't have room for all of it. So you have to put it away. Or you're only can do it at the kitchen table, and then you got to put it away again. He's watching all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do, 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 do. So do I had no idea our keys had this stuff. Yeah. We, you know what? We have a really Really comprehensive <laughs> line, everything from fine art to hobby to craft, even to office and storage. Yeah, so we're amazing. really proud of the lines we've developed. We have a super creative team. We're a tribe of creators, and we're not. Just well, it shows. It truly Thank shows because they're thinking about the product lines and thinking about how you know how new. If you were new to this, what would I need? What would I want to help me not feel in like completely lost in what you're doing? So yeah. you're thinking ahead. I love that. We're trying. Innovation, yes. trying to make it different. We probably have about two minutes of battery. Okay, so two yeah, I've been. Battery. No, <laughs> listen, you've got places to go. It's all good. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I truly Absolutely appreciate it. Absolutely a pleasure. Even Always at the very, very end. Seeing you. Yes. Thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> Enjoy. I will. Always I will. a pleasure. All right. Good See luck packing mine. up. Yes. All right, we're going to step out of the booth so we're not in your way. Were you having fun watching all the comments? All right. <laughs> I appreciate you. Not a problem. All right. Hey. Yes, yep. I'm about to close it out. Unless you want to be on. Do you like a little dance? Hi. Say hello. Hello. Hi. All right, shout out yourself and your amazing cool products and all about you. All right, well, I am Sarah and Aclock, and I make the Color Cube, which helps you to pick colors that work well together. Yes. For any craft.
Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. I'm going to close this out because I'm about to be out of battery. Thank you, everybody, for being a part of this video live. If you missed any of the boosts, go back and check out all the other previous lives because the, we, I think, almost got every single one. But just due to time and battery life and the, the fact the show is closing, I couldn't get to every, every boost, but we got darn close. So thank you, everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Become a YouTube member so you can get a fun swag bag from me if you are glitter or a glitter or a silver member. And it's time to say goodbye for today. Hugs and kisses, everybody. Bye-bye.